stacks up. Not only gets the likes of the SEC, but in all of college baseball. And I want to talk about him this morning. Spring practice resuming after spring break. I know people are excited to hear more from Coach Pittman. Uh, Basketball-wise, you heard Billy and Body, who covers SMU for on three. Doesn't seem to be any teeth to the Eric Musselman SMU rumors. He kind of spoke to that yesterday. We'll talk about that and a lot more coming up here in the next three hours. Glad to be here. Glad it's not pouring buckets of rain this morning as uh, as we begin the show. It was a much drier walk into the studio this morning. We're brought to you by the Inn at the Mill, the place we love to stay. In fact, this weekend, a lot of you will be looking for a place to stay in northwest Arkansas. If you haven't booked your room yet, Inn at the Mill is the place we like to stay for a few reasons. Big oversized rooms. I like the location because if I want to run up to Bentonville or Rogers or somewhere up there and have a good meal one night, it's 10 or 15 minutes. If I want to get to Baum Walker, it's 10 minutes or less to get there. Uh, It's centrally located at the Johnson exit. That's exit 69 off 549. And when I say off the exit, I mean uh, less than an eighth of a mile, a couple hundred yards off the exit, the old end at the mill. Uh, Big oversized rooms, as I mentioned, they're going to have great high-speed internet, a wonderful breakfast to start your day, and the staff there makes it really all worthwhile because they are friendly, uh, and they make sure that the interaction with the front desk, the reservation, the whole thing is quick, and it's friendly, and it's not a phone tree. 479-443-1800. Call that number. A real person will answer. No press 2 for reservation, press 3 for this, press 4 for that. No timeshare presentations. None of that. 443-1800 or online at inatthemill.com. Y'all have not seen this video before I said it, but I want to mention this as we get going this morning. In Baltimore, the Francis Scott Key Bridge was hit by a cargo ship at about 1.30 mm. this morning. It's considered a mass casualty event by first responders. If you haven't seen the video, it's pretty gruesome. Um, I just, I was, again, I always get on social media in the morning. I hadn't seen it. As of again, I'm at sleep at one thirty in the morning, but woke up to that uh, pretty pretty wild I didn't, stuff. I haven't seen the video yet. I'm pulling it up on my phone. I I didn't know anything about it till you mentioned it to me two minutes ago before the show open started. First thing I thought of when you talked about a ship hitting a bridge and it collapsing and people losing their lives, I I I asked y'all or I, I mentioned Weber's Falls, Oklahoma, and that was 2002, a little over 20 years ago, and. You guys didn't know about that, but you know that's where a, a barge came down the Arkansas River, collapsed the middle of that bridge on Memorial Day weekend, and oh, 14 people died in that thing uh, before they could get traffic stopped and get cars to quit running off into the the missing section of bridge. So, sounds like something eerily similar to what happened in the western Arkansas portion. I mean, I know that's in Oklahoma, but it you know it it, it you know, affected a lot of people that, mm-hmm. that listened to us on the western side of the state, you know, 20 years ago. So, bad deal. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully the loss of life is minimal there in Baltimore. That's what, uh, that's what David, he, that was an, um, initially what he thought it's going to be. A, and it's a major port, Baltimore being what it is, well, population size in the, the United States. Thinking about that, too. I know it's not a holiday. Actually, I say that. It's probably spring break for a good chunk of uh, – schools out there but i don't i I don't know that but i mean i don't know anything about ports and which ones are the big ones but i'm sure anything on the east coast and something as as uh uh as old as baltimore is but i mean kind of kind of similar to what i was talking about with weber's falls imagine they shut down i-40 for that that stretch i mean you could not travel i-40 for oh they and they expedited that it was it was probably three months you had to detour back up to the old highway and go around Weber's Falls. You talk about a major um, kink in things, uh, just just trying to travel. I mean, going to Tulsa became a major challenge. Castle. Yeah, Tyler in South Korea, he's listening this morning. Uh, prayers to all the families out and first yeah. responders in Baltimore. On a lighter note, he also wants to know how the poll came out yesterday, asking the question, is Ty Sports Radio a moron? I'm pulling up X right now. <laughs> Any guesses? What do y'all think the percentage ended up at? I thought it was a rhetorical question myself. I, I, I didn't know that. Out. I didn't know it required a response. <laughs> well, thank you, Big C, for the uh, the kind of fifty. It's sixty five. Yes, thirty five. No, lower than I there thought. There you go, Tyler. <laughs> so, evidently, well, six, good. You're not a complete moron. Sixty five percent of our audience. I'm with the thirty five percent that thinks I 
have some intelligence. That Can I vote twice? Can, can I vote? Is it is voting still open? I heard Derek say yesterday that uh, Ty's family voted. How many of your friends and stuff probably voted? Oh, voted yes. Voted yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. If anyone that has hex that saw that poll that claims to be my friend voted yes, which you would. Well, they know you best. You you would think that it would be the opposite out of the kindness of their heart. What makes you think your family voted no? I just said that. I repeated what Derek said yesterday. I'm not saying they did. If my brother saw that poll, he'd probably vote yes, to be to be perfectly honest. Based on the text I get from Baylor Brad on a regular basis, you know, pretty much weekly basis about you and, you know, filling me in, filling the color in around the edges of, of the background of Ty Richardson, I think he probably... It's a lot to fill in. I'm not sure that that that's 50 50 on which way Baylor Brad wrote, voted, oh, particularly I, in the wake of not a good weekend for Baylor basketball. I got him free tickets for that game. If he voted <laughs> no on that, I went out of my way to a friend that you, you that works for that basketball program and got him free tickets. I would feel slighted when I get to see him this weekend. I'm I'm excited. I felt I don't want to say we're talking about something that's pretty heavy here was thinking about this and I, I told my parents this this week i am atrocious really bad and we're you were in the reason i bring this up because you and i are talking after the show about comparing our calendars this, looking they ahead. say this could go anywhere i'm it's atrocious gonna, i'm really bad I, fill in the blank this this could go a multitude of directions i only make a habit of seeing my parents around the holidays and rare is it I, that you're it, gonna regret that i know rare is it that it's past christmas or thanksgiving so i'm going back for easter and i told them i was like i I told my stepmom this yesterday i was like i will be better about trying to make an effort outside of just holidays to see you guys because i had it laid out to me this way you hear how he said that big c i'm going to try to be better at making an effort he didn't say he was going to do it he was just going to be better at making an effort. I was going to make an effort. So, because someone put it to me this way, if you only see your parents three times a year oh, for... That's, that's hor- and they live two hours away? Yeah. That's why I felt terrible yesterday when I'm thinking about this. So, I I told them that, and uh, we'll see if anything comes out of it. We'll see if I follow through on that. I at least have the thought to, their first to, thought go, was, <laughs> to go through on that. What was their first thought, Big C? Yeah, right. Oh no, he's gotten someone pregnant. That's that. That was their, and then they thought, oh no, that would re- require a not girl. yet. <laughs> not out of wedlock. I think my dad would cut my uniform uh, off when I did that at 29 years old. All right, some heavy stuff, some lighthearted stuff here in segment one. What do you think, McClarty Daniel Hotline? Open for your uh, thoughts and comments this morning. Hey, we're brought to you by the Bet Saracen app. We're in the throes of March Madness. I know sports betting is a big topic right now in the national scene. Maybe we'll get into some of that later on. Download the Bet Saracen app. It's one of the handful of sports wagering apps you can use on your phone, tablet, computer in the state of Arkansas. It's number one. Seven out of ten dollars bet in Arkansas is with the Bet Saracen app. There's a reason why. Find out now. Download it now. The Bet Saracen app in the Apple App Store. Just say, Alexa, play ESPN Arkansas. ESPN Arkansas from Tuning. Hey, this is former Razorback Jake Beckett, and you're listening to the Morning Rush. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Newt. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th, 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers. This is the Morning Rush. Say goodbye! Clogs? Nobody wants a clog. West Arc Plumbing knows that clogs are a serious issue. They can signal that bigger problems are on the way. So contact West Arc Plumbing while the problem is small. Slow shower and sink drain, gurgling toilets and outside cleanouts making a mess? Call 479-646-5151 today. West Arc Plumbing and expert drain cleaning since 1993. They keep you flowing. If you have slow drains or high water bills, call West Arc Plumbing and expert drain cleaning service. 646-5151. 
Here's to you and yours from the friendly folks at In Good Spirits, your upscale liquor store in Fort Smith. At In Good Spirits, they've got what your taste buds are craving, including flavorful wines from around the world, scrumptious brandies and liqueurs, tempting whiskeys and beers, and fine cigars. Treat yourself to the best as you listen to the game. Check out In Good Spirits, 12100 Highway 71 South, across from Riley Farms in Fort Smith. The Wave Rural Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV, and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect. Changing the communities we serve. There's more to a tractor than just horsepower. A tractor also needs weight to get that horsepower to the ground. With TYM, a heavier tractor comes standard. Many of the TYM models weigh more for the horsepower than comparable tractors from the big names. And tractors that weigh more, do more. See Bush Tractor at their new location at 6100 South Zero in Fort Smith or log on to bushtractor.com to see how they can upgrade your productivity. Lack of teamwork, failure of communication, overall disappointment. I'm not talking about your favorite basketball team's performance in March. I'm talking about your marriage. If you're getting divorced, don't listen to the myths about custody and child support. Call me, Jackie Mock, at Mock Legal Solutions to discuss your rights and options. 479-769-1505. Mock Legal Solutions. Real advice. Reasonable price. <laughs> Are you looking for a change of scenery? Lavorne Lumber is looking to hire a Class A CDL flatbed driver for a regional position. Lavorne Lumber is highly competitive in pay. Lavorne Lumber is a family-owned lumber and trucking company. Home most nights and every single weekend. Guaranteed. Lavorne Lumber has top-of-the-line equipment. If you're interested in the job, stop by Lavorne Lumber at 515 Phoenix Avenue in Fort Smith Monday through Friday from 9 to 4. Come get you some. 2728 Townsend Avenue is your off-road and performance center headquarters. They've got everything from lift kits, wheels, LED light bars, UTV parts and accessories, winches and tires. Need general 4x4 repair? No problem. Come get you some has one of the largest 4x4 shops in the state. They do it all, from installing a bug shield to building some of the baddest off-road machines in the country. Call them today at 782-6833. That's 782-MUD. Or check them out online at cgysoffroad.com. Come get you some. It's time to vote for your favorite high school player of the week. ESPN Arkansas and Shamrock Roofing and Construction are recognizing the most outstanding high school student athletes. Visit hitthatline.com each week to vote for your favorite athlete of the week. The high school player of the week is brought to you by Shamrock Roofing and Construction. No one can install a better roof at a better price with a better warranty than Shamrock. Visit them at shamrockroofer.com. Visit the nominees each week at hitthatline.com. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Trying to talk to the morning rush. Much more important than my real job. It's shot towards first base. Diving play by McLaughlin. Throws it to McIntyre. Covering. Get him. Hitting over. What a play. Do you want to watch the Morning Rush, Halftime, even Ruskin and Zach? Find our live video stream on Facebook, YouTube, X, Instagram, and Twitch. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio. Really appreciate JB and Rogers coming by the fence this morning. Says, good morning, guys. Ty, you're not a moron. Pretty bleeping good at what you do. I'm 66 years old, and yes, I still eat ketchup on my hot dog. That is not a family member. Yeah. And I don't personally know JB. That is a listener. This is not a fabricated text either, so thank you. JB and Rogers for the moral support that was desperately needed. JB, that is not what the McClarty Daniel the, hotline was intended for. It's all the pushback and <laughs> all the other stuff that uh, gets said from time to time. Clearly, JB doesn't know you very well. I started, uh, <laughs> JB, I started, uh, Tommy has made fun of my male pattern baldness that is starting to come in. I've started taking biotin and I got special what is that? biotin shampoo. Some pill that's like natural that helps hair and nail growth it, it looks like it's receded another inch or two since i was on vacation that's just not funny 
you grow your beard and yeah. then my my hair mean increases. To. Got too much gray and it. it's not a beard, it's a goatee, but I, too much gray there's in There's some it. white that's coming in, too. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, I may have to get with Orange and have him color that since he color he's he's the master at that. You know, he colors his hair all the time. So he's I'll Niv- have him paint my goatee, Nivea, much like he paints his hair. Nivea or Just for Men? Which one does he use? <laughs> I don't know. I've never used any of that. So might be time. See, I mean, I don't know. I, way too much white in that. I right, think right I think it makes when you have that. I think it makes you look more refined. Some guys, and maybe I'll feel <laughs> differently. Yeah, that's the word hit, they use often with me. Refined yeah, when I yeah. hit that stage of life. But I think when I get white hair, gray hair, it's gonna be like, all right, I'm I'm gonna be called it gray fox. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna approach it. Maybe that's not the right maybe way. A touch. Maybe that's what you need. A touch of gray. A touch so. of gray. Hey, it's Taco Tuesday. The best Tex Mex and best service around is at Joe's Grill and Cantina. Here's what I like about Joe's. They got something going on every day. Taco Tuesday today with Dollar Crunchy and uh, Beef and Chicken Tacos. Uh, They'll have Nacho Average Wednesday tomorrow with Dollar Off All Nachos. Throwback Thursday. And then I think Fajita Friday is maybe the best day of all because of the quality of the fajitas at Joe's. And here's why it's different. You know, like if you were going to make fajitas at home, how would you do them? You would take the, the steak and you would grill it over charcoal and you would put it out on your grill, and you do the same thing with the chicken and all the vegetables. That's how they do their fajitas at Joe's Grill and Canteen. And you can taste the difference in that uh, high-end steak that they use, and you can taste that char grill, that char broil that's uh, part of the flavor. So if you want, you know, not stuff that came out of a bag they warmed up, you're going to love Joe's Grill and Cantina and Fajita Fridays featuring their char-broiled steak and chicken, tender and full of flavor, and comes with all the extras as well. And, hey, Saturdays is Ties Day. Have you been over there for this? Endless, Endless enchiladas. enchiladas. Like 15 bucks, all the enchiladas you can eat. That sounds like a Thai kind of thing. Joe's Grill and Cantina, great Tex-Mex, better service, 3400 South 74th Street, across from Harps in Fort Smith. Smack Daddy also responds on the McClarty Dinner Hotline and says all three of his daughters – put ketchup on their hot dog as well i think i can live with ketchup on a hot dog it's when you put it on a steak i got real issue <laughs> he also says but <laughs> in their case they're prettier than they are smart <laughs> that's kind of mean. spoken like a dad that's got that's got a mean smack daddy uh in the break we were discussing smack daddy we might need some more of them cookies soon too yes that would be uh that would be ideal in, in the break we were discussing so the big National news story is what happened in Baltimore last night with the Francis Scott Key Bridge. If you haven't heard, mm. it was hit by a cargo ship. Early uh, this morning, really. I mean, you say last night. It's, yeah, mo- Most of you morning. are waking up to the news. If you haven't been on your phone or turned the TV on this morning, you may be hearing about it right here for the first time. Mm-hmm. And then the big uh, national sports story is, is Shohei Otani and the, the gambling issue. And I always I get frustrated when there is just a statement released or like the Titans, for example, they just fired Mike Bravel in the offseason. And Mike Keith is their play-by-play guy. He interviewed Amy Adams Strunk, who's the owner there. And there was no media. There was no press conference. He basically just gave a statement that was 11 minutes long. And then no questions were allowed to be asked. That always comes across as like when you don't, when you can't elaborate on something that comes across as fishy. But you made a point, and you're, you're right, during the break, is when... Gambling became legal in many of these states within the, the union. Uh, there were going to be problems. There, yeah. there were problems prior to it becoming legal, and now there are problems that it is legal. And with the different I, – I know that uh, Neil Atkinson with Bet Saracen has, has talked about this. Maybe, Christian, you can refresh my memory. The 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 probe or the, the monitor that like keeps track of all the U.S. integrity or something like that – they they flag. There's, there's a company that that monitors yeah. all the wagering, and if something looks out of bounds or inappropriate, and that's the, the Alabama uh, baseball coach. Mm-hmm. Um, his name slips me at this point, but guy calling the hogs because he got ejected, huh? This is Bohannon. 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 Uh, Brad Bohannon, wasn't it? That sounds right. Yeah. I, anyway, you know that that's the company, and I have not set through, but I've got friends that officiate at high levels of college football and basketball who have set through presentations from this sports integrity group. And they have walked away impressed with how they go about making sure, um, that what we're seeing is, is real. I mean, there is a real effort from the 
from the stakeholders of the game, from the commissioners, the the school presidents, all that, uh, you know, through pro sports and college sports to make sure it's all on the up and up. Yeah. And that's what this organization is all about and works across many lines in sports. And the three kind of main, so that's the main one, Shohei Otani. Then there's other kind of ancillary ones. There's the Toronto player that has been around some obscure prop bets that is being looked into. There is a story from J.P. Bickerstaff, who I believe is the Cleveland Cavaliers head basketball coach, that he's been almost threatened by different gamblers that have alleged to know where his family lives and know his family's name. So this is becoming, we've seen this stuff in Iowa and Iowa State. You mentioned the Bohannon story. Now we're seeing this. Um, More stories are going to come out like this. And I think what the betting public wants is exactly what you just said. They just want things to be fair, but it's not always going to be. Or given the information if it's not going yeah. to be so they can bet right. but it, And not be found out. Yeah. But it's not always going to well, land that way. And what, the, the hope is that you can catch the cheating, but they can't catch everything. This deal with Otani and the interpreter, I don't, you know, we we'll get into that later. The NBA story and the Toronto player. What did you think was going to happen when you legalized sports wagering? And I don't know how many sports, how many states there are now. You guys know how many states there are that have legalized sports wagering? It's kind of like marijuana. It's a growing number year after year. I want to say it's in the 30s now, okay. but I could. I, I, so what did, what did you think was going to happen when you made sports wagering more accessible to everyone? Players were going to get caught up. We were always trying to avoid the Pete Rose story. We didn't want to repeat it. But when you put it at the at the convenience of your fingertips, players and their families and their associates are going to get caught up. I think players are smart enough to separate themselves from it, but I don't think sports are ever going to be immune to stories of this nature. And there's going to be a bad one at some point. Um, and it's going to rock the very, especially in a playoff bedrock, a, champi- what we're a championship. Yeah. That's going to be the worst part. Hey, let me tell you about our friends at Forrest Green incorporated. They're looking for an earthwork and grading superintendent. Got to have five years of experience in earthwork construction uh, you got to have management skills, the abilities to read plans and specifications, and GPS experience. So if you know about all of those things and how to build roads and how to grade land and, and how to make it all the way the plans are laid out, you need to talk to the people at Forsgren and help them build a legacy today. They've been doing it for more than 80 years. Forsgren Incorporated has been building the foundation of the River Valley and beyond. Apply today at GoForsgren.com. That's GoForsgren.com. All right, when we return, still a lot to get to. We'll come back, talk a little Arkansas baseball. Arkansas's home for the best sports talk. Ty, fortunately, has saved the world and not yet. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakali. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouse. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice speck. We got crappies. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. 
Bobby Garland, America's favorite, white perch, slab, sockele, paper mouth, crappy, speck, crappy baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yes. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omaha Hogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Are you in need of a good power washing? Mike Jeans Mo Wash is a full-service pressure washing corporation with over 15 years of experience in the River Valley in Northwest Arkansas. Cleaning services include exterior home, fence, driveways, walkways, gutters, pool deck cleansing, and more. We remove dirt, grime, and more to give you that sparkle you desire. Call me at 479-763-5561. We're open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mike Jeans Mo Wash, one call, cleans it all. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakhalin. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakhalin, paper mouth, crap. Or wherever you hear your favorite podcast. All right, so I've got a baseball trivia question for you coming up on our CJ's Trivia Tuesday. So stay tuned for that about 15 minutes from now. we got some football to get into, both in the National Football League with the rule change that I know a lot of fans aren't happy about, plus people messing with Jerry Jones and what he was doing during the NFL players' meets, and unfortunate news with this Arkansas football program that we'll start with here in just a sec. And we got our CJ's Butcher Boys Tuesday Trivia coming up, don't we? You just mentioned that? Yeah. Uh, it was on my notes here of things to say, so <laughs> sorry. 
It's okay. What? Oh, because that was the question. I didn't hear you say CJ's. I just said you yeah. had a question about baseball. I didn't hear you. You mentioned CJ's in that. That's okay. No I worries. wasn't listening. When when they when the when the Twitter poll declared you a moron, I just uh, I guess it rubbed off on me. I don't know. Hey, Hickey and Hull Law Partners, they're growing their firm by opening offices in Mena, Central Arkansas over the last two years. They're in Fort Smith. They're also in Northwest Arkansas as well. They proudly uh, take care of their clients and aggressively represent them and uh, make sure that uh, you're you're taken care of. You know, so many times you get into you know these family uh, law issues, divorce, custody battles. And you need someone with the experience that knows um, exactly the process and knows, knows the law. And that's where Kevin Hickey and Brad Hull and their team can put their over seven decades of combined experience to work for you. Family law, I mentioned that. That's their specialty. Criminal law, you got a civil matter, maybe you got a contract dispute, they can help you with that as well. Kevin Hickey and Brad Hull, the Hickey and Hull Law Firms, 479-434-2414 or go to kevinhickeylaw.com. Stay tuned. Coming up. The CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers trivia question. Ty, I don't know if you know we do this, but we do it on Tuesday. We do, and I, right. I've done that before, so it's okay. Done what? The the re, the repetition. You've said something. I followed up, repeating the exact same thing. You just look at me, so it's okay. All right, we're playing violin music this morning because I have some unfortunate news to share. That Arkansas has lost the commitment of the number one in-state recruit, Carius Kern. In the class of 2025, you've also lost four-star Jamarian Parker, who's decommitted from Arkansas, St. Louis running back. Uh, these are two valuable assets to your upcoming recruiting class that have decided, at least for the moment, that Arkansas is not the best option yeah, for no, They them. weren't that good anyway. And that's the uh, that seems to be the sentiment every time you lose a, a young man uh, when it comes to his decommitment. Kern's going to be... I mean, he's I he I looked at his offer list the other day. It was insane. It's like Georgia, Ole Miss. I mean, he's got SEC all over the They're place. They're not he, that good anyway. Yeah, he's a <laughs> he's a Marion kid. Plays both offense and defensive line. Uh, hopefully, this will get resolved. But I, well, it's not good news for the Sam Pittman as they resume spring practice today. I wish I could come in guns hot about well, a, a commitment instead i have to share a decommitment this Ty, morning tyler in, listening in south korea texting in on the mcclarty daniel hotline may be right on the money this should tell us how the nil fund is going well you, you may be on to something i, I don't know if we're, we may be too early in the process for that with where these guys are at in their stage but uh you I, know i wonder how much that wears down coaches when they their players are constantly committing elsewhere like it just or decommitting well, it's just ugh. What what happened to Nick Saban this year? He, yeah. he retired. I, mean, I I I think for for coaches of a certain age that are past a certain mark or line of demarcation in their career, it's just hard to embrace this stuff. And Sam Pipp is probably closer to that camp than the the uh, the one that that thinks NIL is great. Now I know what they say publicly, but I don't think any of us believe that's how they feel privately. Here would be just a counter discussion to that because Kirby Smart brought it up a week or so ago that. College football coaches are paid more than ever before. Mm -hmm. Nick Saban is wealthy. Now, you could argue he was underpaid during his tenure at Alabama. I, I would agree with you on that. Smart and these other guys that are around the, the $10 million, $11 million mark on what Harbaugh was making previously at Michigan, they're making five times, six times as much as former college football coaches. And, and who's responsible and, for that, chiefly? Athletic department or fans? Nick Saban. Okay, yeah. All Nick right. Saban. Because and, when he came in and made $4 million a year, the world nearly stopped. You're going to pay a football coach $4 million a year? Now you're not even the bottom third at $4 million a year. No. So he's the one that ushered all that in. They all owe him a deep debt of gratitude. And it's assistance, too. But the reason I bring that up, because Smart was like, when asked about these obligations and the NIL and all the different things that they have to navigate through. It's like, we get paid all this. He'd be, I'm paraphrasing. We get paid all this money to figure it out. To figure it yeah, out. He's so right. you, you mentioned the age of, and Saban's an example, Shashevsky, Williams, Wright's a little younger than them, but those are some Hall of Fame coaches that have recently, quote unquote, hung it up lately because they're at a point where they don't have to deal with well, this. But the younger guys, like Kirby Smart. Kirby's for, my age. Yeah. He's the same age as me. And I was going to say, he can stomach all this it's not well too because far you can't off. see yourself retiring you as much as i would love to just hang it up if i had their finances you think kirby smart couldn't decide to hang it up tomorrow if he wanted to of course he could he's got plenty of money 
and he can make a lot more money just being Kirby Smart. Yeah. You know, going around giving speeches, talking to coaching clinics, you know, whatever, being on TV and not deal with any of this mess. But it, you know, I'm not at an age, and I bet he's, I, yeah, I can't speak for him, but I would think he's not at age that he can see himself retiring. Retire and do what? You know, as much as I'd love to retire thinking about playing golf and fishing and hanging out with the wife and kids all day, it's probably not what I want to do for the next 10 or 12 years. But you get into your 60s, and now you can see the finish line and it makes a little more sense when you get to that stage in life. And I think that's that's what I'm talking about with that line of demarcation. And, you know, hey, if you're Kirby Smart, you got to embrace this battle. You think Kirby Smart loves every aspect of NIL? Hell no. But he knows, you know, this is, this is the challenge. I'm going to continue to fight for however many more years I'm going to coach. And I bet he coaches, what would you put the over-under in the rest of his career? 12, 13 more seasons, minimum? Yeah, at least. Oh, and then pick over under that? Mm-hmm. I'd say minimum. over, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you'd mm-hmm. probably go over if I said 13 and a half seasons from now. Mm-hmm. You know, now that's a long time to, to cash your ticket. But my point is, he's got a lot of a lot of seasons in front of him. If we had the same thought about saving, you know, six months ago or whatever, we'd say three or less, and we'd been wrong on the over. Yeah, what, what, let me ask you about this. They don't have to mess with it. Kirby how, does. How much do you think Nick Saban commands for a speaking engagement nowadays? You said Two, Saban? Uh, yeah, 250000 he, he names his price. He but names it depends it. on the organization. Yeah, okay. I was curious. Whatever he says is what they pay. What they'll pay. I mean, can you imagine for an hour getting paid 250000 and getting your airfare and all that paid for? I can imagine it. <laughs> That's about you as know, far as I can go. It'd be nice. but so, Airfare? <laughs> get, get your uh, get your airfare and your, your food airfare and everything you think paid he's, for. Uh, 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 excuse, Southwest passenger Nick Saban, Nick Saban, yeah. check in at the gate at C eight. <laughs> no sir. But the pri- I was going to say the private. <laughs> they're getting the uh, the private the private transportation. That's what I'm saying. They they pay for it. Pretzels or peanuts, Mister Saban? <laughs> Always go pretzels and those biscottis that are on the. Uh, that are, oh no, those are it, extra. Is it is it Southwest the, that you get the biscotti cookie? No, uh, last week we so got American. you get a little bag of uh, snack mix, and then they gave us uh, on the way out, but not on the way back, like some uh, cinnamon graham crackers. Or maybe fly, that's a breakfast thing. Don't find it, Tulsa, or- Love Field, Dallas. Okay, Any my issues? house. Uh, no, uh, we had a slight delay out of Phoenix coming back, but like thirty that's minutes. It. Okay trying to we are we are flying bags out. were near not first off the uh the carousel but but nearly uh in the first 20 bags so no it's great you mentioned dallas i have been tasked one of my one of the things i like to do outside of radio is plan trips and i have been tra- tasked to plan a golf trip uh mm. two days of golf lodging food flight alcohol for all less than 1500 dollars. so i've been scouring the internet mm. the last 24 hours to try Can i go this guy's my age. I don't think you. I don't think you. will probably need a older brotherly figure. Yeah, you know, just a. Uh, Let me know where the golf's at, and then I'll decide. I well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is where we need to go. And I've gotten all this feedback and stuff, and then I'll look mm. at the price, and it's like five hundred dollars for a golf round. I'm just like at some of the the, the places that have been because we're I could probably help you out with where to go. Yeah, probably need some. Probably I'll tell you some, for fifteen hundred bucks, you're not going to fly anywhere. And play golf. Just drive to Memphis, I guess. Yeah, well, that... You got to do, like, a regional trip. Yeah, that's... Again, it's going to be relatively... In Dallas, it's a one-way out of anywhere, so there's a... It's a little cheaper. I'm trying to get a flight less than 500 bucks. And I don't know. That That's something we have to figure out as a... As a grower, I've been tasked to figure that out. Um, but back to where we started with Carrie's Kern decommitting and then also Jamarian Parker decommitting. We talked about this in the midst of Arkansas's recruiting class that wasn't good this past season, uh, the high school one versus the transfer one, which I believe finished inside the top 10. I think Arkansas is going to invest its NIL funds in transfer players and retaining kids on campus, which I think most of you would agree is more important. What's I think worrisome to me is other schools have enough money to not only do that, but invest large sums of money in high school kids too. And I don't know if that's what happened here with Jamarian Parker or Carius Kern, but again, anytime I see a decommitment, that is my initial, and I think it's, it's most of our reaction is NIL's the reason. It might not be at all for both these two young men, an in-state kid and a kid not too far, about five hours from campus in St. Louis. 
But that's where my initial thought always goes when I see a decommitment, not just in Arkansas, but anywhere else. You might be right. You might be wrong. I would probably tend to agree that you're on to something, but I think we jump to conclusions, and that's been the battle we fought in our heads with football and, again, with basketball. And I keep coming back, and when I when when the response is, but well, we're getting killed in NIL, and that's why we're having a losing year. Chuck's talked about this a lot. Then how how's everybody else doing it? Because are you telling me all the schools that are winning have the biggest NIL funds? Bring me the uh, the list of the sixteen teams uh, that are left in the in March Madness. Are those the sixteen best NIL funds? Well, of course not. There's still more to it. Now, is NIL now a huge piece of this? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. There's no argument there. But you still have to be a team. What was Arkansas's bigger issue this year? And we don't know all the inner workings, but Arkansas's basketball season was not fully foiled by the lack of NIL funds. Clearly, anyone watching the the preponderance of the season knew, could see that these guys didn't gel well together mm-hmm. for personality reasons, for ego reasons, for you know factions amongst the team. We don't know all the details, but it was clear that they weren't connected. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. You know, what was the bigger issue with this team? The lack of connection between the players on the court or NIL funds? I, I, I've i got to believe that Arkansas's issues, because when they decided to put whatever the issues were aside, they could nearly beat Kentucky. They, they pulled off a game or two. They were just three or four games short of being in contention for anything because they couldn't pull it together often enough. And that was the bigger issue. So you can have all the money in the world. And sometimes the money causes the other problems that keep you from success. So having a unlimited or virtually unlimited NIL fund isn't going to get you a championship. The difficulty of bringing in a veteran player at times is his habits are set in certain cases are very hard to break out of. Now that player has probably a better basketball or football or baseball IQ uh, probably has a better workout regimen and has acclimated himself quicker to college than, say, a freshman would, but the freshman is easily or e- easier moldable. Uh, and that is the difficulty of college coaches across campuses is you're battling that aspect. And I think we saw Jay Wright address this following Kentucky's loss to the NCAA tournament. One of the reasons Kentucky's faltered as of late is because the transfer portal is so much more prevalent now then back it, let's say it was in 2012 to 2018 when Cal was bringing in the breast freshmen each and every year, and those players, by the time March came around, were ready to go, and they weren't competing in some cases against grown men. But, for example, when they lost to Oakland, they lost to other teams that are not more talented from an NBA level, but they're more talented. So, yeah, how much do you from, think Golke was making in NIL? Well, he got a bunch of, I don't know how he yeah. got a TurboTax deal. He got a Buffalo Wild Wings deal. <laughs> oh, he really? got all these well. deals, a bar stool deal. Is he signed. After the game? Yeah, he, oh. it, a pair, I, I listened to this story. His buddy set up an email for his NIL stuff and just immediately yeah. was flooded with it right well, after. I mean, I've watched, I don't know if you watched Iowa basketball last night, the women's game, but, you know, Caitlin Clark was featured in several commercials, including a very nice Gatorade commercial. I mean, she's one of the top three or four paid college athletes. Well, do you, think you, you say it's number one, but but looking at, well, the NIL tracker on three doesn't have her at number one. No, I don't Does know. It? That's that it has her at number four. So, uh, uh, Bronny James was one. Uh, who am I missing? Was two, and then it was uh, Olivia Dunn, and then her, I believe. But point point being, she's she's up there. Two of the top four, mm-hmm. according to the on three NIL tracker, was um, you know, were female athletes. Livy Dunn's coming to campus and in in a week or so, and I think every young man between the age of like <laughs> sixteen and 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 twenty so, twenty three is going to so be in Fayetteville. Let me let me ask you this question in just a second uh, about constructing a team. Think about what are two of the three two or three of the things if you if you got unlimited nil funds, what would you go out and get if you were putting this basketball team back together? The All American Steakhouse and Sports Theater, uh, past several years, been voted best of the best in several categories by you out there that have been there. I've been there many times. Ty's been there. It's a great place, not just to watch a game, but have a delicious tender steak. Uh, The coconut shrimp are great. Their appetizers are great. The service is even better at the All-American Sports or All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater. The thing I love about the sports theater slash bar area is there's 360 degrees of, 
I think they're eight or 10 foot screens where there's different games on each one. And this time of the year, it is the place to check out uh, that we have our Christmas party there every year. If you've got a company event coming up, they got a great room that can take care of all of that. That also has uh, theater screens and everything you need to have your event just the way you want it. Check out the all American steakhouse online at the all American steakhouse.com. Come in and see them and try it for yourself. The all American steakhouse and sports theater on sunset in Springdale. So, if I just give you fifteen million dollars to go put a basketball team together for Arkansas next year, so you, you're you're right there at the top with as much money as anyone needs, more money actually than anyone needs. What what are the priorities? I think you start with trying to keep Caleb Battle and Tremont Mark, assuming Eric Musselman wants them to stay. Okay, let, let's forget names for a minute. What are the attributes or the or the things you want to? How how would you want to describe the team beyond just names? I think point guard because the last. Prior to this season, the last four years, you think about Jimmy Witt, Jalen Tate, J.D. Okay. Note, and Anthony Black. You had a really solid point guard each of these last four years. Now, the first year didn't go uh, as, as high as maybe you wanted to, but that was the first year must. I okay. think you got to start point guard, and then you got to go beef. And I'm not just talking about yeah. one. I'm talking maybe two or three big men. Okay. They're hosting this UMass kid, forgetting his name today, according to Richard Davenport, but... Uh, you go point guard first. Guards are always the most important players in the NCAA tournament, specifically point guard. You've got some scores potentially on campus with Caleb and Tremont, and then you go beef. you got to add a lot of it. That has been Arkansas's Achilles heel every NCAA tournament game. You look at their a losses. It's a lot they, of teams deficiency. Yeah, so. and, and again, it's kind of like we always talk about you can never have enough uh, defensive linemen in the SEC. You can never have enough quality big men in not just the SEC, but in – college basketball when you get to the NCAA tournament. Point guard first, big men second. Men, M-E-N, not man. I think it's a getting the right mix of athletic players and then just good basketball players. You know, athletic players. That, I heard Matt, Matt Jones has said, I, I don't know how many times, Big C, you're in here every day with him. How many times he talked about this team's not athletic enough? A lot. A lot. You know, and, and I, I don't necessarily have the most trained eye for that, but, you know, I believe Matt's right. <laughs> And we saw Arkansas could not laterally move their feet to get in position to defend. That's an athletic issue. They need better better athletes. I, I, Chuck said this yesterday, and I've, I've thought this all along. Must bet on the wrong horses this year in the portal. And I, I, you know, I don't know, you know if that, that was an evaluation issue. I don't know if that was someone beyond Must on the staff or, you know, that yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know how that process worked out, but... Um, they thought they were getting one thing and end up with another, I think, in too many cases this year with the players. So I think you got to have the right mix of veteran players, young players, but I think they got to step up the level of athlete they're getting mm -hmm. in many of these cases because um, their ability to move and get in the path and defend the basket or get out and defend the three-point line just wasn't there. They didn't have the, the foot speed and the quickness night in, night out against the level of competition they're playing. Now, I know how the SEC turned out in the tournament, but you're not going to completely convince me that this was a um, a garbage league that they got exposed in the tournament. I don't believe. I, I think the SEC was still a top league. They just, it didn't pan out. They still got two teams in the Sweet 16, may end up with a team or two in the Final Four uh, that will change the narrative about the SEC. But I think, by and large, and the record indicates this, Arkansas couldn't match up athlete for athlete night in, night out in this league. And that's where, and I'm not the guy to evaluate that, but but it's pretty clear and obvious that's where you've got to improve. Well, you're playing a center, Chandler Lawson, 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, you start there, not just athletic. Well, I'm not talking just about size. Yeah, but I'm what, talking about skill. Yeah, no, no. And I was going to add, you also need to add some size, too. And I think Musselman, based on... The guys that they have already contacted, that's the goal. He he tried a different formula this year because they got outscored by Connecticut pretty heavily, and it he'll didn't go work. go defense first this yeah, time. Yeah, and he'll try and figure out. He's got some guys that are capable of filling it up offensively on campus, assuming they stay, and now he's he's bringing in more of that 6'5", 6'8", wing. The two kids that he's bringing in are 6'5", and 6'8", Elohim and Shelly. And then we'll see what they add in the portal. There's plenty of talented guys. I, every single day, 
I love following this stuff because you see great players at the portal consistently. Uh, there's centers. There's all over the place. And there's commitments. I've seen Iowa State's got a commitment. I've seen Alabama's got a commitment. So it's not just must having to fend off guys that are not currently in the tournament. The guys like Austin Bur- or Austin Berger and uh, Nate Oates that are still coaching, you got to fend those guys off too. But they have preoccupied things right there. All right, let's talk to Jimmy and Conway here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. What's up, Jimmy? Top of the morning to you, fellas. I believe the SEC will be done after this weekend. Alabama has run out of nobodies to play. They're going to have to play somebody that's real this weekend. Yeah. I think they're done. And Tennessee, well, they always choke. <laughs> but uh, think about this. Kentucky's buyout for Calipari is roughly $35 million, and they're not going to pay it. They're probably not. But A&M paid more than double that. To get rid of Jimbo, yeah, and didn't even he's a football think about coach it. though. Difference, yeah. Well, at, at Kentucky, basketball is number one. I understand. So you know, they've, they've got they don't 20, want to get rid they of got twenty two thousand seats in there in in Rupp. There's a hundred and two thousand seats at at Kyle Field. The difference in, in, in there's a difference in the revenue coming inbound. Even com, I know I understand the level of importance. You're right, Jimmy, but. The level of money at A&M football versus Kentucky basketball is still starkly different. And, Jimmy, I, as much as Kentucky fans revere their basketball program, if you look at the financials, and I don't have them in front of me, I would guess Kentucky football just annihilates basketball and revenue. Again, I don't have that in front I, of me. I, I don't know if it annihilates, but I bet it would be larger. Just, but it's, several, a simple, it's a simple math yeah, equation. Several million dollars and umpteen million dollars, I think, because it's – Pretty much like I mean, I would say Arkansas has got a really good basketball program, but if you look at the comparison between Arkansas football and basketball, we're still a football first state. It's not close. I it may and maybe Kentucky's is closer than I'm giving credit for, but it's not really to this point. We'll push our uh, CJ's Butcher Boy Burger trivia pack into the seven o'clock hour. Still a lot to get into in hour three. All right, coming up, our CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers trivia question. <laughs> See what I did there? There you go. There you go. Hey, uh, Arkansas Derby's coming up this weekend. If you haven't made it to the track this year at Oakland, this is the weekend to do it. It's Derby Day coming up on Saturday. Big 13 race card. First post time is going to be at noon. They got a weekend of racing on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. No racing on Easter Sunday with special post times on Thursday at 1230, Friday at 1230, and Saturday at noon. If you haven't downloaded the Oakland Anywhere app, do that now. You can go to bet.oakland.com or on your iPhone and iPad. Just go to the Apple App Store and download it now. Use the promo code RUSH24 for a $150 sign-up bonus. Arkansas Derby this Saturday. Get that Oakland anywhere app and enjoy. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Newt's. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available, plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and downtowns for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers. Warm up with hot preseason savings on your choice of New Holland equipment right now at WT Equipment. Get 0% financing for 60 months or a free loader on compacts. Choose 0% financing or cash back on mid-range tractors and on select hate tools. Or get up to $40,000 cash back on a new T7. No matter the job, hurry into WT Equipment today and shop their huge selection of in-stock inventory. Now is the best time to get a truckload of savings on the trusted quality and efficient power of New Holland equipment. Offer ends March 31st. Commercial use only. Customer participation subject to credit qualification at CNH Industrial Capital LLC approved. Standard term conditions and other restrictions apply. Hello there, homeowner. Roger Scott for Leaf Guard Gutters of Arkansas. Are you tired of dealing with clogged gutters, climbing ladders, and worrying about potential damage to your home? Well, listen up to me now. Leaf Guard of Arkansas has got you covered. Introducing Leaf Guard, the only true one-piece seamless covered gutter system on the market guaranteed to never, ever clog. With Leaf Guard, you can kiss goodbye to all the hassle of climbing up and cleaning out all that muck and mud and shingle grit. No more hiring someone else to do it, or worse yet, risking serious damage and issues by doing nothing at all. Spring is finally here, which means it's time for Leaf Guard's famous ugly gutter event. Leaf Guard 
Yard will swoop in, take down, and haul away all those unsightly gutters at absolutely no charge, and you'll receive an incredible 60% off installation on a whole house Leaf Guard gutter system. But wait, there's more. Ask about the 0% financing options and additional discounts for seniors and military personnel. Do not let ugly gutters ruin your home's curb appeal or cause costly damage. Call 501 664 5400 or visit leafguardandmore.com to schedule your free estimate today. Leaf Guard of Arkansas, protecting your home one seamless gutter at a time. This is the Morning Rush. Hey, it's Zach from the Ruskin and Zach Show. Join us this Friday, March the 29th at Mock Legal Solutions Grand Reopening. Drop by this Friday to check out their new office space. Same location, just more room to serve you in more practice areas. We're going to be there live 2 to 6 that day, broadcasting from Mock Legal's newly renovated meeting room, the Johnny Davis Memorial Conference Room. Mark your calendars. This Friday, March 29th, Mock Legal Solutions Grand Reopening, 3401 South 79th Street in Fort Smith. Mock Legal Solutions. Real advice, reasonable price. Diamond Center is proud to present our inaugural Whiskey and Watches event. Now is your chance to get your hands on that timeless timepiece you've been dreaming of. Between now and Thursday, April 25th, in our Fort Smith store, call or stop by to pre-order your watch. Then join us on Thursday, April 25th for a night of celebration featuring rare whiskeys, cigars, and luxury watches. This is your opportunity to add that watch that you've always had an eye on to your collection. For more information or to pre-order your watch today, give us a call. The Diamond Center, celebrating a legacy of love. The Wave Rural Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV, and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect. Changing the communities we serve. Hi folks, Larry Rapp here for Rap Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where we have the biggest and best selection of premium pre-owned vehicles we've had in years. Many with low miles and those special features you're looking for and each one road ready certified with warranty. Be sure to ask about the weekly specials that can save you up to $4,000. Road ready certified used cars and savings up to $4,000. Two more reasons all the happiest drivers are rolling with Rap. Rap Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center just north of Phoenix on Towson, Fort Smith. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, a perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Are you ready to work for one of the area's premier companies? If so, Forsgren wants to offer you a rewarding new career. Forsgren has been building the foundation of the River Valley for over 80 years. Forsgren is recruiting for experienced concrete finishers, equipment operators, truck drivers, and laborers. Forsgren is a destination point for men and women with a drive toward excellence. Join the Forsgren legacy. Apply now on any device, anywhere at GoForsgren.com. That's GoForsgren.com. Forsgren Incorporated is an equal opportunity employer. It's time to vote for your favorite high school player of the week. ESPN Arkansas and Shamrock Roofing and Construction are recognizing the most outstanding high school student athletes. Visit hitthatline.com each week to vote for your favorite athlete of the week. The high school player of the week is brought to you by Shamrock Roofing and Construction. No one can install a better roof at a better price with a better warranty than Shamrock. Visit them at shamrockroofer.com. Visit the nominees each week at hitthatline.com. ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, moderate to heavy rain is possible. We'll see an additional one to two inches of rain just today with occasional showers and thunderstorms with heavy downpours. Our high today, low to mid 60s. We'll start to dry things out tonight. Overnight, low mid to upper 30s. Partly sunny and cooler. Highs near 50 north, upper 50 south. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Grand Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. You're listening to The Morning Rush, live from the Bush Light Studios on ESPN 95.3, KERX Paris, Fort Smith. This hour of The Morning Rush is brought to you by Bud Light, brewed with the best barley, rice, water, and hops to be America's favorite light beer. Bud Light, please drink responsibly. This is something that I think kind of caught fire and didn't really have 
any substance to it. Eric Musselman is a guy with some Dallas ties. I mean, his sister, he's got the family that went to SMU and, and a lot of family in Dallas. And he's recruited the area. He's done well at, at Arkansas. There was some thought that he would be a guy that they would call right away. But you know, from talking with various sources, they're kind of honed in on probably one candidate. That's not Eric Musselman. Hey, this is Darren McFadden. You're listening to The Morning Rush. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Bush. Heard all across ESPN Arkansas and HitThatLine.com. Hit that line. This is The Morning Rush with Ty Richardson, Tommy Kraft, and Chuck Barrett. You're in need of a serious attitude adjustment, young man. You better get your priorities straight. Produced by Christian Johnston. In spite of the juvenile snickers of some, this is a serious matter. Call or text the Morning Rush on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. With six locations in Springdale and Bensonville, a good deal is never too far away. You don't need to wear a ball cap, man. You need to let those golden locks flow. It's a- and welcome into hour number two of a Van Wagon Tuesday edition of the Morning Rush. I know many of you are on the CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers bandwagon. We'll get into that Trivia Tuesday coming up. Also, update you on some baseball news. Game has moved been moved up today. Softball 2. We'll let you know about those things and get into trivia shortly. Before we ask the trivia question in just a moment, we're brought to you by APAC Arcola. I want to tell you about immediate openings they have in North Central Arkansas, if you're listening in Harrison or Mountain Home or anywhere in, in that area on 104.3 this morning, or Northwest Arkansas on 99.5 or using our app or anything online, if you're in Boone, Marion, Baxter, Benton, or Washington counties, APAC is looking for people to join their team, licensed CDL drivers, heavy equipment operators, concrete finishers, if you're a diesel mechanic, you've got experience in a quarry, uh, you've got experience uh, with concrete or asphalt labor and, and, and laying asphalt or paving concrete and or paving asphalt lay and uh, finishing concrete. They have a job for you. Uh, sign-on bonus benefits that include insurance, retirement, and profit sharing and great pay as well. Apply online, jobs.crh.com. Again, that's jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola is an equal opportunity employer. So it's 3 o'clock today instead of originally scheduled later on tonight. I think it was 6.30 originally, 6 or 6.30. But airtime's going to be at 2.30. We'll hear our friend Phil Elson on most of these stations and Bubba Carpenter on, and as well as the Hit That Line Now app and hitthatline.com. You've got a 10-game homestead in Bomb Walker Stadium. Now, you just won the previous 12 at Bob. Now you got 10 straight games and uh, we're getting a chance to see Ben Bybee for the first time on the mound tonight. Here's what Dave Van Horn had to say about the pitcher that's coming off of his stuff. We got some good pitchers that need to pitch. We need to see if we need to add them to our roster on the weekend. You know, we got some guys that have good stuff that in a couple of cases they're coming off rehab or they're coming off sickness and Maybe we're going to put them on the roster against LSU. It'd be good to see him pitch well on Tuesday. So I, I I got confused for a sec. Bobby's the one that's coming off the mononucleosis. Carter came off the Tommy John. I, I've switched those a time or two. We'll see if Dietz is, is back for the LSU series this weekend. Hunter, who people are excited about. Tommy but, John's, mono, they're well, almost I, the I, same thing. I know that <laughs> I know they're both, again, recovering from two to things. Right. I just mixed them up. Uh, we've, seen, we've seen Carter already, and now we'll see Bobby. <laughs> A little bit tonight. I'm curious. What well, I mean, you got to identify some depth, and you have a short turnaround. You, you you can't use arms that you plan to use this weekend, or at least on Thursday, on Tuesday, or you, you'd prefer not to. And uh, this isn't a do or die game, but Arkansas, you know, um, you know, needs to get this a for win total, b for for your RPI down the road, and uh, it's just always better to win than lose. But this isn't a do or die game by any stretch, and it's not nearly as important as what's ahead. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. So manage accordingly. Mm-hmm. And so we're on the subject of baseball. We're going to have a baseball trivia question for you here on this Tuesday. This is CJ's Trivia Tuesday presented by CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers in Fayetteville and Russellville. It's delicious. There must be 50 customers out there. It's unbelievable. When all you do are burgers, they have to be the best. I think we're on the fourth edition of this Trivia Tuesday. This one's a little more difficult. The previous questions have been pretty much layups, easy to get. So if you want to call or text, or excuse me, call in, do so. At Didn't you say seven. you struggle with layups? I'm bad at layups. I'm All better right. at threes than layups. I'm All like right. Jack Gokey. I'd rather shoot a three-point attempt than anywhere inside the arc. Again, our 
McLarty Daniel Hotline is 877-377-6963. You have to call in in order to have a chance to win the $25 gift card from CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers. So Hagen Smith will be on the mound this Thursday. I think taking on LSU's ace. I think it's Nick Holden, I think that kid's name. Uh, he is tied with our friend Scott Tabor. I don't know if you caught that, but Scott and him are now tied with the all-time strikeouts. Okay. And Four. They're both at 261. So they're both in fourth place. Expect Hagen to surpass Scott this weekend. We were kind of giving him a hard time about that. We know Nick Schmidt. This weekend, which inning on yeah, Thursday? Yeah, probably the first. So <laughs> No question whether he's going to pass him or they're tied. Nick Schmidt is the all-time leader. Hagen and Scott are both in the top five. Name one of the other two pitchers inside Ooh. of Arkansas's top five. Now, I didn't know either of these names going to be honest. One played from 19... It was one of Scott's teammates from 1979 to 1982. And then the other played from 1998 to 1999. Again, our Morning Rush Daily... Que- or excuse me, our uh, CJ's Butcher Boy Burger trivia question is name one of the other two pitchers inside the top five along with Scott Tabor, Hagen Smith and Nick Schmidt. Who's, I had to look these up, to be honest. Nick said number one, Scott and Hagen are tied at four right now. One has 301 career strikeouts at Arkansas. The other guy has 280. Oh, let me make sure I'm. You're asking for who are the other two in the top five? One that, of the other two, yeah. In the top five. Yes. So Nick Schmidt's number one overall. Mm-hmm. Scott and Hagen are tied, tied at, at four. Tied at four. I just so, need two or three. It's two or five, right? No, two or three. Two or three. Two or three. Yeah. This might stump some people. I had to. Because uh, Nick Smith was going to be my guess. The, uh, you know. Well, everyone, I feel like everyone, we we said that a thousand times last week when, when Hagen broke that. So I felt like that was going to be an easy, an easy mm. question to ask. I felt like this one would make people I mean, think a little bit more. I know Tabes is our buddy, but you think about that record that's, I hope he's listening right now, that's lasted that many decades. <laughs> I mean, his career, his uh, complete games record in his career, that, that'll never get touched. I don't think you, you may not have combined career complete games for the rest of the existence of the program that'll come close to mm-hmm. him. Um, I think it's 28 or 29. That'll never get touched. But so pitching should but, but, change. But to think to go, that, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, complete games are just a, they're, they're more rare than perfect games uh, in today's college game and really the, the pros too. But, um, be interesting to, uh, I, but, but it goes along. He had the strike has to go along with all those innings as well. So based on the feedback we're not getting, did I ask too difficult of a question? I think maybe you I did. usually, I usually ask just the easiest of easy questions and we are, our, our McCarty Daniel hotline. We've got some guests on up. the text line. We may but, have to take a texture. No, no Matt, it's no. not, it's not just Todd. And all again, right, if so you take want just Todd off the take table, just Todd. He didn't play enough years. I I wish I could give a hint on one of these two dudes, and I, I guess I gave give the, an era maybe. Well, I said seventy nine through eighty two and ninety eight through ninety nine. One was mm. a teammate of Scott Tabor. Scott knows who this guy is because he's above him by what is that forty so both forty of them, strikeouts. Think about how many strikeouts it was as a team during that era. If they were pitching at the same time, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's why they went to the college, college world, world series, series yeah. final in in that year in in nineteen. Well, that, that's a pretty good hint right there. So 1979, this guy looks 877-377-6963. like... 877-377-6963. If, uh, if you know the answer on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Well, this might be the first one that's stumped. I, I feel like I've done my job this morning. I've stumped our listeners. Well, mm. I also want to tell you about our friends, again, at CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers in Russellville and in Fayetteville. I know Keith is a big baseball player, former college baseball player, by the way. And now, Looks like he could still play. Yeah, Keith can definitely still play if he needed to. Through If he was asked to throw out the first pitch, I guarantee you that'd be right down the pipe. So, those playing days are behind him. Still loves going to baseball games, still loves cooking up the best burgers and the best fries and the best shakes in all of Arkansas. So, if you're looking for that combination, stop by and see him and his team in Fayetteville off Weddington or him, Sally, and their team at Arkansas Avenue, the Russellville location. CJ's Butcher Boy Burgers. When all you do are burgers, they have to be the best. All right, when we return here, we're going to talk with Bruce Dan of Pradco Fishing. Arkansas's home for the best sports talk. This is former coach Houston Nutt, and you're listening to The Morning Rush. 
Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 at Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and downtowns for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. This is the Morning Rush. And he's in touchdown, Arkansas. And I've got to give you guys kudos. I love your segments you have with James T. Must listen to. Hey, it's former hog James T. Join me on Halftime Friday at 1215 to break down what's happening on the field every weekend. You gotta get out of here. Time for... Drive a third row SUV that is style in motion with the 2023 Buick Enclave at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Right now, get $1,250 in total savings or 2.9% financing on a 23 Buick Enclave. The 23 Buick Enclave, designed for the road ahead and well-crafted for your refined taste. Test drive a new Buick Enclave and experience the new Buick at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. Are you ready to work for one of the area's premier companies? If so, Forsgren wants to offer you a rewarding new career. Forsgren has been building the foundation of the River Valley for over 80 years. Forsgren is recruiting for experienced concrete finishers, equipment operators, truck drivers, and laborers. Forsgren is a destination point for men and women with a drive toward excellence. Join the Forsgren legacy. Apply now on any device, anywhere at GoForsgren.com. That's GoForsgren.com. Forsgren Incorporated is an equal opportunity employer. At Southern Tire Mart, we look out for you and your vehicle. Come visit us for America's most trusted brands like Michelin Tires and top-of-the-line service. You can depend on Southern Tire Mart and Michelin Tires to keep you rolling. Come see us at Southern Tire Mart, just off I-540, exit 14 in Fort Smith, for Michelin Tires that fit your needs and service that cares for you like family. At Hug Chevrolet Buick GMC, we dial 782-8940. This is Joe Calderera with Taliano's Restaurant. We call 782-8940. Keep warm this winter with a York High Efficiency Furnace. Or for more information on endless hot water and a high efficiency tankless water heater, give Blaylock Heat and Air and Plumbing Services a call at 782-8940. That's 782-8940. A lot of batters have been striking out lately. Don't do that. Hit a home run with Wheeler Power Sports and the Slingshot by Polaris. They're going to make a donation to charity for every strikeout by our favorite college baseball team for the month of March and for every new Slingshot sold by Wheeler Power Sports. So join the fun and get out on the open road on a new or pre-owned Polaris Slingshot. Check them out online at wheelerpowersports.com or stop by and see them at 901 North 11th Street in downtown Fort Smith. Hey, River Valley, this is Jackie Mock with Mock Legal Solutions. Y'all have eclipsed our expectations in supporting our law firm, and we are grateful. You blindly put your trust in us, and we are over the moon to announce our grand reopening. On March 29th from 2 to 6, drop by our office at 3401 South 79th Street. Meet Ruskin and Zach, grab a pair of free eclipse glasses, and check out our expanded space and practice areas. Mock Legal Solutions, real advice, reasonable price. Like an eclipse. Colorworks Paint and Body in Barling offers professional automotive painting, bodywork, and fabrication that is unsurpassed in talent and dedication. Owner Andy Harrod uses the latest in collision repair technology to ensure all damage is addressed, whether it's visible or hidden, and works with all insurance companies. Andy and his crew have the experience and commitment to give you complete trust in the repair of your vehicle, no matter the size of the job. Colorworks is located at 1206 Fort Street in Barling, across from Dollar General, and is on Facebook where you can check out their work. Will your bracket be better than Matt Jones, Derek Ruskin, and the rest of the ESPN Arkansas team? Then prove it. Sign up for the HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge presented by On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith, and Shelter Insurance Agent Chris Dooley. Registration is easy. Just find the contest on HitThatLine.com. The HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge is also brought to you in part by Walk On Sports Bistro, Century Bank of the Ozarks, Cafe Con Chisme, Links at Chaffee Crossing, and Foghorn's Wings. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. 
It's time for the Red River Dodge Morning Rush Daily Question. Red River Dodge in Heber Springs, Arkansas's number one Ram dealer. Log on at RedRiverDodge.com. Your Honor, I'd like to ask for a recess. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. The court will wait for an answer. All right, time to get into our Morning Rush Daily Question. I mentioned that Arkansas is 12-0 and 0 this season in Baumwalker Stadium. And by the way, let's see, Brent actually got it right, it sounds like. Congratulations to Brent. Who that, were the pitchers? David Walling and who was the other one? Matt Carnes. Is that so, who it was? Yeah. Matt Matt was a teammate of Scott Tabor, and then Walling pitched from 1998 to 1999. So, Brent, congratulations. We will send you that. So they're, they're, they're the top five along with Nick Schmidt, Scott Tabor, and now Hagen Smith and Hagen Smith. So that will uh, we will get you that CJ's butcher strikeout boy burger gift card. All right, Bud Walton Arena, Bob Walker Stadium. We will welcome in Bruce Dan and Pradco Fishing. Arkansas is undefeated there. Went that 12, 12 or I say undefeated and went twelve and zero in the last homestead. They got a ten game homestead. Bruce, you've been to both. What is the more difficult place to play if you're an opponent? Is it Bob Walker or Bud Walton? It's two of the most dominant home atmospheres in all of college sports in their respective sport. Football doesn't come close. I love Donald W. Reynolds Rangers back stadium. I've had great memories there. It doesn't hold a candle to the other two atmospheres in their respective sport. It's more difficult to win it. I I would just say there's probably no other. I've not been to as many baseball parks as I have basketball, so I have to say that. But it is a very unique baseball uh, environment at Bomb Walker. I remember covering games at the old George Cole field with the AstroTurf infield and, you know, there'd be a couple hundred people to watch him play NSU Tahlequah in a <laughs> March game. Uh, you know, Leland Barkley and Shay Hamilton in yeah. the stands. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd have to say Bomb Walker just because it's such a unique environment for uh, baseball. There, there's a lot of people that pack out arenas now. Um, uh, you know, I, I I've, I've been to some amazing games at Bud Walton and going back to Barnhill. I think Barnhill was a lot more intimidating. I've um, heard that. Yeah, I've heard that too. Uh, and just, I don't... just because it was a cracker box, you know, you get seven, eight thousand people and it's packed every game, and you can't hear your buddy next to you. And uh, the the basketball was, especially at the end, was the, the highest quality possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'd, I'd have to say baseball, just because I think most college baseball players especially non-SEC college baseball players come in here, and they're not used to seeing that. I, I think, so we've talked about Rupp Arena before, and that's, I think... That's not a... That's what, not no, but a, we, we're, here's what I was going to say. What makes Rupp Arena special is not the atmosphere, but the players that you have to go up against. Yeah. It's not this insane, no. dominant home field atmosphere. It's just you play the best players in college basketball when you step foot in that arena most times, and... I feel like if you're going to pick between the two, and they're both great, but if you're going to pick between the two, more often than not, you're taking on the creme de la creme in college baseball when you walk into Bomb Walker Stadium. And then you top that with one of the best baseball atmospheres. I think in the SEC, it's only second, Tommy, to the, uh, to uh, Duty Noble in Starkville. I think that's the only stadium in the SEC that has more attendance or can pack more fans in mm-hmm. that stadium so you well, can buy capacity doesn't always mean better environment yeah you could buy an, up arena an unruly atmosphere Look at auburn with yeah. yeah no that's a good point too you combine an unruly atmosphere with a uh one of one of the best baseball teams repeatedly year in year out especially the last five years or so that's why i would give the slight edge to bob walker in this situation even though both are great i mean since 96 it has to be baseball Arkansas has not been the same program since '96 but when, in basketball. B- when both and I've been in both facilities when they've been at their best. Yeah, and I still think it's Bud Walton. I mean, as far as noise, intimidation, uh, the ability to sway the game, I still think it's Bud Walton. Oh. And, and, and to me, that's what when you ask about best atmosphere, I want to know, you know, is this environment enough to change the game? Is this a environment enough to make a pitcher? throw ball four instead of strike three? Or is this environment good enough to keep that free throw from going in when the opponent's at the line? That, to me, is what great environments are defined by, just like we see in football. You know, there, there's several stadiums in the SEC that keep track of uh, false start penalties against their opponents because the crowd's 
noise and that environment has an impact on the game. Wh- which of the facilities have a bigger impact on the game itself? I still think at its best, it's Bud Walton. What about when Arkansas loads the bases every game? That's, I mean. That don't happen anywhere else. Nope. That's you. That is pretty cool. Well, I mean, it's like oh, you're right. that happens on a daily basis. Arkansas might do that twice a year for a big opponent. Didn't happen well, after that, that's midseason said, this year. At, at its best, you know, I'm I'm judging them at its best. Yeah, but so. B- Bob Walker's at its best every game. I know you're right because the where the team is, which you mentioned, has been baseball has been better, not just since not I'd say not since '96 necessarily, but lately. Not that the basketball team hasn't played in some more key games, but you add in again some in, incredible, like incredible, just meaningful games like this weekend for example oh it's easter weekend you're starting a little early on thursday but that is going to be a, a raucous raucous atmosphere all weekend long either way you're you're lucky enough where you have two of the better facilities from a home uh home attendance record and just the fact that they cause a I, lot of- I, I think arkansas fans in basketball are extremely knowledgeable and want to win and expect to win and I'll compare it to Alabama. We went to Coleman Coliseum this year, and it was basically the SEC regular season championship game. I got my shirt on, so we beat them. But th- those people do not. <laughs> Thank you for pointing. They that do out. not love basketball. <laughs> they don't understand it. They either. don't care. It, it was something to do. I think more people were excited to see Saban walking around signing autographs yeah. at halftime than they were about the game. And it just. You know, at Bub Walton, I remember the Chris Porter game when Auburn was ranked number one or two. I can't remember what it was, but there's just you couldn't hear yourself. And you know, Tommy mentioned willing them to win. Alabama doesn't have that in Kentucky at Rupp when they play Tennessee. They they have that. They they hate us. They want to beat us, and they do get fired up. Of course, when you drop a hundred seven on them and they all walk out with eight minutes left, that's that's pretty <laughs> fine too. I saw that this year, but. Arkansas basketball fans are great. They're knowledgeable. But when the team doesn't win consistently like it had in the last 20 years, it's 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 not like baseball. Yeah. Baseball, you say we got the best program in the country because you do. You can puff your chest out a little you do. bit. And, I mean, and, and it means something to stand. When's the last time someone stood in line for Arkansas basketball tickets? When's the last time someone stood in line at Baum Walker to get in a game? Pretty much every week. Yeah. It, 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 I, yeah it, I could point to the Duke game that you're right your your point is is accurate it's uh, what i would say it's more it's every single home weekend in the sec where you have people standing in line for quite some time it's the marquee matchups in basketball the dukes the auburns the occasional top top 15 match or whatever but it's so much more consistent in baseball that that's what can maybe get the slight slight advantage however so slight to Bob Walker Stadium. Again, that's our Morning Rush Daily Question presented by Red River Dodge in Heber Springs. Is it harder to win in Bob Walker Stadium or Bud Walton Arena? Hopefully it'll be hard for Little Rock tonight and then LSU on starting on Thursday, Tommy. Red River Dodge in Heber Springs, Arkansas's number one Ram dealer. Log on at redriverdodge.com. All right, so a couple storylines. Two SEC teams out of eight make it to the second weekend. We kicked this around yesterday. Is that a byproduct of the conference not being as good as we think it is, or is it just luck of the draw or but, unluck of the draw? I, I mean, a lot of it's matchups. I mean, I think you can look at non-conference. There were some really great non-conference wins by Auburn, Alabama, Tennessee. Uh, I think the disappointments are Kentucky. Uh, I think the disappointments are Auburn losing to Yale. Uh, that's uh, kind of disturbing that you lose to an Ivy League team not named Princeton. Uh, that was shocking, and and I I bet that blew a hole in a lot of brackets. But yeah, I, th- I think in a one game deal, uh, a lot of the SEC teams didn't do. A, was Texas A and M a failure? I mean, they could have won that game against Houston. I wouldn't consider their se- season a failure. Um, you know, and then that kind of makes you scratch your head even more. Arkansas beat them twice, and you know they're they're possibly one shot away from the. Week 16. Yeah, but, but if you're going to say the SEC was a disappointment, then how do you not say the same thing about the Big 12 or the Big 10? Well, it was. But you know, so I mean, I mean, there's still two teams from the SEC in the Sweet 16, and other than the ACC, they have as many as here's I guess, where I anybody. come from. Those 
those conferences, Tommy, that you mentioned have won national championships, have been a Final Fours in the last five years and since 2012 in the last one. SEC doesn't have that. You can you can have that. You can have that debate and argument, but when you don't have any track record the last five years of success in the postseason or winning the national championship okay. since 2012, I realize the barometer is not what the SEC does in football and baseball, but it's still a joke until they actually do something. But, but, in the so I can flip that. Then why would you expect it to be any better? I mean, there because, is a, there shouldn't be expect if you haven't you know everything you went through is factually accurate. You hadn't won one since twelve and another final four since nineteen. But but you know in the end, these this year's teams can't do anything about what's happened the last fifteen years. Well, they can win. Well, I mean, can win, but they can't Craig. change the past. Yeah. That's but, my point. But no. you can bust through and break through because well, if maybe ten- they will. If Tennessee I mean, beats not Creighton over yet. this weekend and and North Carolina loses to Alabama and they both get to lead it, or one of them gets to the final board, that would be considered a success. Now, if they both lose on Thursday and Friday, it's a failure. So you're the trying conference. to write a narrative that's not yet complete. But to this point, it has not been. Yeah, you're right. But to this point, well, it has here, not here, been a successful postseason here's, for here's the Southeastern the Conference. Big East had three teams in the tournament. They still got three teams playing. And you kind of scratch your head. It's like, well, maybe St. Peter's, St. St. Peter's, maybe Seton Hall, uh, St. John's, mm-hmm. and uh, – who was the other one uh, that didn't make it? They had three teams that were bubble teams. Providence, Providence, yeah. And 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 two of those teams, uh, Seton Hall beat Connecticut by twenty one, and Providence beat Connecticut. I mean, you kind of ask yourself, this Power Five thing's real. They're not letting these guys in, and that could, could those three teams very well could still be playing. And the SEC had eight teams and. Just found ways to lose. Yeah, they had a chance the other night. A&M beating Houston would have really helped their case, just wasn't able to to get it done. So where do the SEC teams rank at this juncture of the season as we enter the Sweet 16 this weekend? Time to rank in our Pradco Pyramid of Power. Who are the best basketball teams in the SEC? SEC? Let's find out. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. This is the Pradco Pyramid of Power. All right, so this will be our last basketball edition of the Pradco Pyramid of Power because obviously we're running out of games in season, and I, I, I don't think there's much debate, but I, I really think when you look past spots one and two, which I think are obvious, you can make a lot of different scenarios and cases for spots three, four, five, and six. So to me, it's clear and obvious Tennessee is one, and you have to put Alabama at two. And not just because they're the teams to survive it, but when you look at the when you look at the preponderance of the season and all the games, and yes, there's been some inconsistencies with Alabama, but there were with Kentucky and there were with with Auburn as well. Alabama, to me, has has the, the cream has risen to the top. So it's Tennessee one and Alabama two, and I mean I'll listen to an argument on that, but I think that's how it is at the top of the of, of the heap right now. No, and, and yeah, and the tie, I agree with you. Uh, and the ties point, that's part of what's wrong with the SEC in basketball. You've got two teams that have never been to a Final Four. They're both two games away from their first Final Four. Uh, probably unlikely they'll both make it. But uh, your national champion pedigrees in Kentucky, Arkansas, Florida, you know, where are they? Yeah. You know, one didn't make the tournament. Two went out in the first round. Yeah. You know. So – when I look at the the rest of the teams that would be to me even eligible for this conversation, in in, in the list is South Carolina, Kentucky, A and M, and Auburn. I I don't think anyone else really can really belong in the conversation. Maybe I'll entertain Florida for a second, but I'm not going to put Mississippi State in this conversation. No, um, no, you you got the right for. So here's the order I put it in from three through six. I went with Auburn because I think Auburn is. Even though they were a disappointment and lost to Yale, I think they're better and more, and had been more consistent than the other teams. So I got Auburn at three. I put A&M at four ahead of Kentucky just because of the way they played against Houston. They didn't go out with a whimper, and you know they were a possession or two away from, from maybe being alive this weekend, which would put, probably put them not just because of survival, but in the conversation as, as possibly number three. So I got Auburn, A&M, then Kentucky at five, and South Carolina at six. That's that's kind of how I end the, the season. Yeah, I agree with you on Auburn. They won 27 games. They won the SEC tournament, yep. laid an egg against Yale, but totally yep. agree with that. My problem with A&M and Kentucky, they had double-digit losses, and you know, and A&M had some ugly losses. They got swept by Arkansas. Yep. So South Carolina went 26-8, and eight, had an amazing year. I still think you know most of their games, 50-50, they found a way to win them. 
Uh, so I had them four. I had, just okay. the way A and M closed, they've won more SEC tournament games the last three years than any other program. Hadn't won a tournament, but they know how to win in the postseason, and they really look good against uh, Houston. You know, you kind of wish Wade Taylor would have showed up with one of his 35, 40 point games, and they'd have won that game, but but they didn't. And then Kentucky Eddie showed up with some bad shot attempts. Yeah, he, it was bad. And then Kentucky lost ten games. That they lost more games that were up than they've lost in recent memory. Uh, Despite all the talent, like Ty alluded to, they just they just weren't winners this year. I mean, most a lot of schools think twenty three and ten is a pretty good record, but man, Kentucky that could get you you fired. Can, let me, uh, is Cal get canned? I he, don't think so. I don't think so. Sure, sounded like a guy that was pretty okay. nervous last night as well, coaches. Who show. are you going to hire this better? That's that's and what that, I was thinking. But that and, and that's and that's it, all. I mean, listen, you know, that's that, a fair question. Well, I mean, whether it's if any of us are looking at a job that we need to fill. And you've got someone in that job now. Requirement one is get someone better than you have now. If you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna remove somebody, then you better have a better candidate. And I don't know how. You know, that's the highest hurdle to clear you, for you, for their. AD. You know what you're getting. I mean, just everybody needs to take a chill pill. It's, he's been to six Final Fours. Four of them were legal. You know, I guess they took two <laughs> of them away. And he won a national championship. So automatically. He's got better pedigree than any other yeah. coach in the SEC, which and he's got more cachet than like, most. And that more is, cash than most. More, more, well, and, <laughs> both. and cachet. Both. So, but if I told you the guy has one NCAA tournament win since 2019, that those that pedigree that you were talking about hasn't really been a thing since what 2017, the last Final Four. Oh, man, I love. So who it. would you I hire? Hope, I hope he stays there. Who would you replace him with then? I would call Mark Few. I would call, Mark Few, I would call yeah. Jay Mark, Wright. Not, and, Mark Few. And listen, hey, listen, on. listen, listen, Tommy. That, the, the idea that you shouldn't fire someone based on who are you going to get better is is not a good fleet. That's You're how in, you get yourself fired as the AD. But Mark Few, that, there's no 15-year future in that. But this idea that they should just be complacent with Cal because they're scared to take a jump I'm not saying on that. someone just, else. You better it, have a better option. Hey, what about Bruce Pearl of Kentucky? That would that would be that would not be the worst thing in the world. But he's saying it would not be the worst thing in the world for uh, they would they could do worse in Lexington than Bruce Pearl. And you would man, you talk about someone you'd hate to be degree. You could do worse than John Calipari too. That that is true. But they have done worse. than See Billy Gillespie. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. But guys, that is the the pride and joy, and one of the criminal crims as much as we hate in all of college basketball. One. One NCAA tournament win since 2019. One. That's it. Doesn't matter if you don't think you can get someone better. That is unacceptable. As the Kentucky fan I agree base, with that. and then for Mitch Barnhart as their athletic director, unacceptable. So this idea that hey, we we shouldn't jump, we shouldn't take a risk because we don't know if we can get someone better. That doesn't compute with that fan base, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't, for that matter. What's the best job in the SEC basketball? Kentucky. What's it's not second, close. What's second best job? Arkansas. You still think so? Yes, a hundred percent. I think it, 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 I, I know the landscape has changed, but Kentucky far and away. It's it's nine day, and I hate admitting that, but it's nine day. Kentucky is the best basketball job in the SEC. It might be in the country. Kansas has something to say about that. I don't. North Carolina. Duke, those are your top four jobs. I don't know who the fifth would be on that. UConn? UCLA? They just, they just win, man. Calhoun. Yeah. There's something about, Ollie, you. Right about UConn. Hurley. I mean, they just turn them out. What, it's they've like, had five titles in the last 20 years you or could, somewhere, something like that? I, you, you could make a legitimate debate if you get the right guy in there because I think the LSU football job's the best in the country. Just look at their last priest coaches, all one natties prior to Brian Kelly. LSU baseball is the best job in baseball. Three national championships, three different coaches, Maneri, Burtman, Jay Johnson. And you can legitimately make a debate that that UConn's in the top five. What about based on Jamie from Van Buren? Do you think Hurley would leave for Kentucky? What about that? Now that would be a that would be impressive. That would be a hire. And it's a better job than but some guys I know the better. titles, but Kentucky's still a better job than UConn. It's a lot better mm-hmm. job. It's a lot that's, more high that's profile. Good. That's a good I'd, I'd hate to see that. I would, I would not want to see now, that. Now, I want to bring this back. I am happy that Cal's at Kentucky because they're not as good as they could be right now. Exactly. And it's kind of like your argument about A&M with Jimbo Fisher, Tommy. You're right that people are, even though Arkansas can't beat them for whatever reason, you're kind of happy 
Jimbo Wazzetti in him because they're never going to do anything in the postseason or yeah, regular season. The next season. guy may be better. So the next guy could be better. And if they could sway Hurley or Few or Wright or some hall, of, another Hall of Fame coach or at least has the potential. I know Pope's one of the guys that is a former Kentucky Wildcat that's doing things at BYU right now. But Chris Beard's the guy that would leave Ole Miss and go there. Though. I don't. I don't think it's he's he's got enough uh, cachet for that think, job. Uh, but he's the guy so. that he's the guy that may not have the cachet, but he could go win there. I think Billy Gillespie alone probably scares him from anybody yeah, he's associated with right. the state of Texas. Man, we had a ton of rain yesterday. I mean, a bunch that's uh, dumping into all the creeks oh, and tributaries and into the river and uh, working its way, uh, you know, down the watersheds. So what's that mean for fishing today? We're going to have a lot of sunshine heading into the rest of this week. Well, on the backside of these rainstorms, this time of year, we get these wind. And as my dad taught me, the wind is your friend. You get that spinnerbait, that booyah covert for nest spinnerbait, white's all you need, and you get on that bank and uh, you go down it and burn that spinnerbait. And especially on these highland reservoirs, there are a lot of them are stained now. You get a little color in the water, mm -hmm. and they're going to come up and eat that spinnerbait. And uh, I did it at Broken Bow last week. Probably going to do it again this week. And, uh, you know, that, that would be something, probably the first thing on my mind I'd be doing, throw a jerk bait right now. It won the Bassmaster Classic over in uh, Tulsa on Grand Lake uh, last week. Uh, I mean, you get that, uh, get that jerk bait like a rogue. Mythic original suspending rattling rogue and uh get it out there throw it around boat docks throw it around chunk rock banks uh main lake points secondary points and uh you know the fish are wanting to spawn they're wanting to come up the water's in the high 50s low 60s at all our local lakes and uh but they're not quite ready yet you know we keep getting these cold fronts knocking them off and uh i think the fish are coming up fish shallow uh fish main lake points secondary points and uh, use baits that you can move. Use a jerk bait. Use a spinner bait. Double willow, uh, three eight half ounce. And uh, you know you ought to be able to go out and catch them. You know, right now I would not go out first thing in the morning. One, you're just gonna get cold. But you know, get out, get out there about ten, eleven o'clock, uh, especially on a clear day. The sun's gonna come out, warm things up fast, and uh, you, know, you, you can catch a lot of bass right now. Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LureNet.com, your favorite tackle store is all going to have your favorite stuff, including the Smithwick original suspending rattling rogue that Bruce was talking about. I was thinking about the White River and Gaston's here for a second. I bet with all the rain on the next few days, you're going to be running a lot of water out of Bull Shoals, out of Norfolk, some of our uh, uh, you know, trout habitats and trout fisheries right now. Probably going to see a lot, of, a, a lot of generation, a lot of water release just – Keep those, uh, keep yeah. those lake levels. Well, right. the brown trout fishermen want that. We want those eddy pools. We want to beat the banks like we're bass fishing with a rogue, and uh, I man, we want that chance to catch a double digit brown. And you, man, you can do it when that water's moving and uh, cover a lot of water, and uh, you get to see a lot of that beautiful white river below Bull Shoals Dam, and see eagles and all kinds of things. You might see Tommy Craft out there in a mm. boat. Might see Ooh. Clay Henry out there with Ooh. a fly rod in his hand. There you but, go. Uh, yeah, good time to be out there. Bruce, good to see you. Uh, hey, if you are headed to the White River soon, make a reservation to stay with our friends at Gaston's White River Resort. You're not going to beat the accommodations. You're not going to beat the, the friendly guides and their great staff that make sure your visit is special and unique. And it's a unique, special place when you go to Gaston's. It's about a mile below the Bull Shoals Dam, two miles of White River frontage, and each of their cabins have a great view of the White River. You're going to love your time at Gaston's. Call 870 431 5202 and make your reservation for a, a, a trip coming up soon to Gaston's White River Resort. Gaston's, a first class time every time. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community. 
in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakale. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite white perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson. The best in the business. On the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Are you in need of a good power washing? Mike Jr.'s Mo Wash is a full-service press washing corporation with over 15 years of experience in the River Valley in Northwest Arkansas. Cleaning services include exterior home, fence, driveways, walkways, gutters, pool deck cleansing, and more. We remove dirt, grime, and more to give you that sparkle you desire. Call me at 479-763-5561. We're open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mike Jr.'s Mo Wash, one call, cleans it all. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when He does, people will try and hide their faces from Him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. 
big old slab. C'est bon, Sakhalin. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouse. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite white perch. Let's call 888-8-SPARKY. All right, time to get into your hog update this morning. Baseball game has been moved to 3 o'clock, originally slated for later on tonight, moved up because of the cold weather. So airtime will be at 2.30. That means you'll hear our friend Phil Elson and Bubba Carpenter starting then on most of these stations. Plus, hit that line now, our brand new app, and you can look forward to that later on today. I'm excited to see these guys in action as they get ready for LSU. Curious if, Tommy, they look ahead to the... Top 10 series waiting them this weekend. Oh, I, I think, uh, you know, with the way they're handling pitching and, you know, you're still trying to identify some bats in the lineup. I, you know, I think there's a lot of competition still on this roster for playing time. Um, would you say there's, there's very few positions where it seems like everything is totally set, you know, in all nine positions, I know or take eight positions out there. There's a battle at catcher. I think first base is one of the few places you don't seem to have a, a battle about who's going to get, the day in day out stuff. So when someone gets an opportunity, I think the competition on this team to get at bats and get innings and get and get your chance in the lineup uh, is still pretty fierce. And I think you're trying to prove yourself every day to Dave Van Horn right now. Ben Bobby gets his first start on the mound this year, coming off of mononucleosis. We'll get a chance to to see him first and uh, still waiting on Hunter Dietz for him to come back from injury. So that's baseball. Football news, they do start spring practice today. We're going to get a chance to hear from some players later on this morning. Sam Pittman, some other assistants this Thursday. The unfortunate news that I have to share with you is Arkansas lost top in-state player Karius Kern, class of 2025 defensive lineman and offensive lineman. He's from Marion, the Marion era, and they also lost to Marion Parker yesterday. So that is the uh, that's the bad news. That is unfortunate. I don't know the the reasoning, the rationale of why these two young men decommitted. I just know that this came out yesterday and Arkansas fans had their opinions about why they have elected to mm. decommit at this time. All right. So, uh, you know, you always got to get the best players in your state. When we talk about this in every sport, every year, you know, those are the ones you can't let get away. So, what what case you're going to make? What you know you got time? You know, can you get these guys back? Because you're never going to build the program and get back to to scaring nine or ten wins if the best players in your state are going elsewhere. Mm-hmm. It's just not going to happen. Mention the uh, bat, baseball series moved up. The softball game has also moved. I say the series. The game tonight has moved up. Softball game's also moved up. It's now at five o'clock tonight. Uh, recruiting news wise, that was the uh, the bad news. Basketball recruiting, good news. You're hosting uh, Joshua Cohen, the UMass forward center. This is from Richard Davenport. He's going to be here as of this morning for his official visit. Guy that averaged like 16, I think eight this past season for the midshipmen. Uh, last thing here in your hog update: uh, Arkansas gymnastics is going to host LSU, Kentucky, Minnesota, Arizona, Nebraska, Oregon State, Boise State. And BYU, April 3rd through the 6th at Bud Walton Arena. It's the fifth time that they've hosted a Fayetteville Regional. And I don't understand this because they've, I think they're 0-2 against Kentucky this year. They're 1-1 against Kentucky, and yet they're hosting. Is it just like you? I think that was predetermined. Okay, that's what I thought. I think the, I think the sites uh, were determined months ago. So, uh, I, 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 and listen, I, I'm that not the one. That is my assumption. That, well, because I've had people asking about tickets and getting to go force for, for a month and a half, so I I think these were were determined way well before. in advance. Yeah, now, listen, I'm not I'm not going to be the one to say, hey, here's how it works in gymnastics. I'm not going to be that guy. I have no clue. Banging the gavel for, but this. I just know people have asked me about tickets and how to go for a while now. Okay, that is your hog update this morning. It is brought to you by our friends at Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call eight eight eight. Eight Sparky. Still a lot to discuss in our number three. Tom Murphy of the Arkansas Democrat Set, Whole Hog Sports, is going to join us via the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Did you catch Jerry Jones's doodling at the NFL? I heard about this. I didn't mean I, I saw that he, he had his legal pad out and was scribbling something that was almost 
you, know, you couldn't discern what it what it was. I don't know if it was legible or what. Yeah. I, people love to to mess with Jerry. I didn't. It's like one of those things. And you watch me during the show. I'm constantly writing things down or jotting down the opinion or, or trying to bounce off something you say. I don't. My during meetings and stuff. I know each and every person is different uh, on how they conduct themselves in a meeting. You a lot of times will lead meetings. I uh, I will sometimes lead me and like everyone has their how they lead meetings slash how they take in meetings and mm-hmm. some guys and gals take in differently than others. Some are lasered in lock focus. Some guys and gals mind wander a little, a little bit. And in Jerry's case, it seemed like his his mind was wandering there with the, based on the doodles. But I mean that's just how he copes with listening to stuff like that. I think we're. Overthinking the plummet here a little bit. Well, the NFL owners meeting, maybe the biggest story that came out of there was the ruling that the owners are banning the swivel hip drop tackle, which... Tell us what that is, Ty. Break down the the hip drop tackle for us. It's basically where you just let go of all your body weight. I mean, you can better, and you just kind of crumple on the offensive player, right? Well, but they've, they've... I thought it had been banned or been made part of roughing the passer. When you land and put your full body weight on the quarterback, they've they'd already banned something like that. Yeah, so, that that's already ruled. But this yeah. is this is not just this with is, quarterback, right? This, this is, is across the board. And I'm just wondering when it's going to stop being tackle football. A lot of, and in fact, I haven't seen a single defensive player that isn't up in arms about this. And a lot of head coaches are angry about this. It is it is a position you're putting NFL officials in. That is subjective. It, uh, there are some things that are subjective in the game, but a lot of times it's like very clear and concise what the rule is, and you base your ruling based on what the rule says. Mm-hmm. This is a lot harder to do. Yeah. There are going you to be, never have rules that can't be officiated. There are going to be situations, hopefully not in the playoffs, but it's probably going to happen where this costs some team a game. And I just I'm not looking forward to this element being a part of the National Football League this year. Well, I I think it uh, I think most fans out there probably couldn't tell you what a hip drop tackle is, and this is a headline that's getting, you know, probably a lot of attention. Hopefully, it's a much to do about nothing, and we'll see it. But you know, the fact that a lot of you know a lot of defensive guys that's what exactly you'd expect. That all the rules seem to always favor the offensive side of the football. But the reason for that is who who's making the rules, whose meetings did this come out of? The owners. The meetings. owners' meetings. Uh, where do the Uh, By percentage, the largest percentage of their dollars go when it comes to players on their roster, their investments, Uh, quarterbacks, right? Uh, The rules are set up to protect their financial investments. That's what this, all the owners agree. Hey, we're paying our quarterbacks a lot of money. We don't want, you know, some defensive end coming in and ruining my, you know, hundred and, or or in case of Mahomes, my half a billion dollar investment. So to me, that's why they set the rules the, the way they do. Hey, uh, Hour 3 coming up. You can get with us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline with your calls or texts. We'll have more of those, including Tom Murphy, coming up in Hour 3. We're brought to you by Arts Barbecue. They are on Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith, one of our favorite places to eat, and they're back at it because they're open Tuesday through Saturday. When it comes to burgers, no one's got a bigger selection of burgers, and they hand patty their burgers every day, but they got a brisket burger that's got caramelized onions and cheese and their art sauce on it. They've got uh, their bacon cheeseburger that's got their house smoked bacon, house brine bacon, 10 different varieties. Try the poblano pepper burger, the green chili burger that's on the menu. You'll love the flavor of that as well. All their burgers on the menu uh, and are a dollar off each Saturday at Arts Barbecue, Rogers Avenue in Fort Smith next to Buddy's. Hour three coming up. We'll talk some uh, pro hogs next. Hello there, homeowner. Roger Scott for Leaf Guard Gutters of Arkansas. Are you tired of dealing with clogged gutters, climbing ladders, and worrying about potential damage to your home? Well, listen up to me now. Leaf Guard of Arkansas has got you covered. Introducing Leaf Guard, the only true one-piece seamless covered gutter system on the market guaranteed to never, ever clog. With Leaf Guard, you can kiss goodbye to all the hassle of climbing up and cleaning out all that muck and mud and shingle grit. No more hiring someone else to do it, or worse yet, risking serious damage and issues by doing nothing at all. Spring is finally here, which means it's time for Leaf Guard's famous ugly gutter event. Leaf Guard will 
swoop in, take down, and haul away all those unsightly gutters at absolutely no charge, and you'll receive an incredible 60% off installation on a whole house leaf guard gutter system. But wait, there's more. Ask about the 0% financing options and additional discounts for seniors and military personnel. Do not let ugly gutters ruin your home's curb appeal or cause costly damage. Call 501-664-5400 or visit leafguardingmore.com to schedule your free estimate today. Leaf Guard of Arkansas, protecting your home one seamless gutter at a time. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group has immediate openings in the Northwest Arkansas area. If you're a licensed CDL driver, heavy equipment operator, electrician, diesel mechanic, have paving or concrete labor experience, or experience in a quarry, apply today at jobs.crh.com. APAC offers top pay, a sign-on bonus, benefits including insurance, retirement, and profit sharing. Apply online today at jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group is an equal opportunity employer. This is the morning rush riley farm dental at the entrance to riley farms provides every type of dental care and procedure for you and your family from general dentistry braces implants and cosmetics dr sparkman davis and farmer give all of their patients better lives with a better smile more confident and a comfortable experience every time riley farm dental 5901 riley park drive suite a at the entrance to riley farms now offering same day crowns call 226-3500 for an appointment or visit RileyFarmDental.com. Free Diamond Madness this March at the Diamond Center. During the month of March, Diamond Center is giving away a free live-grown diamond with the purchase of any natural earth-grown diamond, one carat or larger, or with the purchase of any qualifying in-stock setting. All you have to do is pick out the perfect engagement ring and we'll take care of the rest. All backed by our free lifetime warranty. This is a can't-miss opportunity. Don't miss out on Free Diamond Madness the entire month of March only at the Diamond Center celebrating a legacy of love. Hey, Hog fans, this is Matt. This is Elizabeth. And this is the reigning champion of my own conference, Robert. You do realize that's not a thing. Well, I did receive a plaque commemorating that accomplishment. Yeah, and I was elected the president of Mars. Anyway, Hog fans, it's that time again. It's, it's baseball, baseball season. season. And Hog fans, the stadium shop has everything you need for Razorback baseball. From t-shirts, sweatshirts, man cave stuff, and even a Razorback original, the bases loaded beer hats. Plus, ladies, as well as a restocked women's section, we have the bases loaded beer stein boppers. Yeah, it's kind of like those old-time space alien antennas, you know. Yeah, well, not really. So when you're in Fayetteville, stop by the store at 989 South Razorback Road, next door to Baum Walker Stadium, or you can shop us on them WW Interweb, Facegram. You get it, Matthew. Dad, do you mean the website? Yeah. Which is shoponrazorback.com. That's shoponrazorback.com. Or call us at 479 Stadium. That's 479-782-3486. As always, go, go Hawks! You don't have to be a folks. We're ready. 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 We have the biggest and best selection of premium pre-owned vehicles we've had in years. Many with low miles and those special features you're looking for. And each one road-ready certified with warranty. Be sure to ask about the weekly specials that can save you up to $4,000. Road-ready certified used cars and savings up to $4,000. Two more reasons all the happiest drivers are rolling with RAP. RAP Auto Resources and the Mighty Car Care Center just north of Phoenix on Towson, Fort Smith. It's 2024. Let's go see what's new at the Golf Nut. Peen G430 Max 10K Driver. Peen straightest and most forgiving driver. Taylor made QI 10 Max Woods and Irons with 10K Inertia, making it the most forgiving driver ever. And Cleveland Launcher XL2 Woods and Irons. Call Matt Brooks for a lesson, 646-4430. And start a new year with more confidence on the course. The Golf Nut, 5121 Towson Avenue, Fort Smith's number one golf shop since 19. It's time to vote for your favorite high school player of the week. ESPN Arkansas and Shamrock Roofing and Construction are recognizing the most outstanding high school student athletes. Visit hitthatline.com each week to vote for your favorite athlete of the week. The high school player of the week is brought to you by Shamrock Roofing and Construction. No one can install a better roof at a better price with a better warranty than Shamrock. Visit them at shamrockroofer.com. Visit the nominees each week at hitthatline.com. 
ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, moderate to heavy rain is possible. We'll see an additional one to two inches of rain just today with occasional showers and thunderstorms with heavy downpours. Our high today, low to mid-60s. We'll start to dry things out tonight. Overnight, low mid to upper 30s. Partly sunny and cooler. Highs near 50 north, upper 50 south. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Grin Incorporated. Committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. K-E-R-X, Paris, Fort Smith. Hey, we can't make you a morning person, but we can make your morning. ESPN 95.3. This is something that I think kind of caught fire and didn't really have any substance to it. Eric Musselman is a guy with some Dallas ties. I mean, his sister, he's got some family that went to SMU and, and a lot of family in Dallas. And he's recruited the area. He's done well at Arkansas. There was some thought that he would be a guy that they would call right away, but you know, from talking with various sources, they're kind of honed in on probably one candidate. That's not Eric Musselman. Hey, this is Darren McFadden. You're listening to The Morning Rush. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Bush. Heard all across ESPN Arkansas on HitThatLine.com. Hit that line. This is The Morning Rush with Ty Richardson, Tommy Kraft, and Chuck Barrett. <laughs> You're in need of a serious attitude adjustment, young man. You better get your priorities straight. Produced by Christian Johnston. In spite of the juvenile snickers of some, this is a serious matter. Call or text the morning rush on the McCarty Daniel hotline. With six locations in Springdale and Bensonville, a good deal is never too far away. You don't need to wear a ball cap, man. You need to let those golden locks flow. It's a- and we welcome you back to hour number three of the Morning Rush here on a bandwagon Tuesday. You heard the voice of Billy and Body, who covers SMU for all in three, saying there was nothing to Eric Musselman at SMU. Uh, nothing has happened, at least in the last 24 hours, regarding an announcement of your head basketball coach and his tenure here at Arkansas. I know people still want to know. I still want to know. I still want to know what's going to happen. I also want to know what other transfer guys could potentially wind up here in Fayetteville, basketball-wise. We've got a lot to discuss in Hour 3. Tom Murphy joins us in about 10 minutes. We've also got our Lindsay & Associates Pro Hog update coming up in just a sec. Hey, the fence man is the uh, business that you need when it comes to more security and more curb appeal for your own business. So if you're trying to get a better look or maybe make your property more secure, a new fence from the fence man can give you both powered automatic gates, controlled access systems, card readers where... People can get in and out of gates and uh, and areas only with uh, the pro- proper authorization. The fence man can help you with all of that. They custom install any type of fencing, gates, and controlled access for your home or business. Call the fence man, 782-3936, 479-782-3936. The fence man, he ain't afraid of no work. This is the Lindsay and Associates Pro Hog Update. Giannis over to Bobby at the corner. We'll take it. Oh, Bobby's got a slam. Whether you're listing, selling, or leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all your real estate needs. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. At Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. Black didn't want the three. Brian's instead of hammers at home. Well, that young man's aggressive. We've got some baseball news coming up in just a bit regarding some pro hogs. But for now, we're still talking basketball. Christian, what you got for us on our Lindsay and Associates pro hog update? Daniel Gafford stole the show, I would say, among the pro hogs. On Thursday, he had 24 points, his best game as a Maverick, in their 113-93 win over Utah. He went 10 of 11 from the field. And last night, he had 13 points, 11 rebounds against the Jazz, again, 115-105, the Mavs got the victory. Was really close to passing Will Chamberlain's all-time career straight field goal record. Uh, he was second in that category. Would have been cool to see him do that, but I know the Dallas Maverick fans love him, and I know the fact that he's closer to home is is something he appreciates as well. Loves being a Mav, seems like. Ricky Council had 10 points last night in the Sixers' 108-96 loss to the Kings. Kings are a really good team. Good to see uh, Council get some points there. Ricky is a guy that is going to be a fan favorite in Philadelphia. He already is when he comes in and just hoping he picks up more minutes. It's hard to crack an NBA rotation, and the fact that he's done it in year one as a guy that wasn't highly talked about from this Arkansas team is pretty cool. Bobby Portis had 15 points on Sunday in the Bucks' 118-93 win against the Thunder. 
Isaiah Joe had six points. Jalen Williams didn't score, but he got some minutes. You got four Razorbacks in that game because Patrick Beverly, of course, on the Milwaukee Bucks. Tommy, I know we've kicked around the idea of how many Razorback players maybe have been on the court at one time. Mm -hmm. I would, I, I, I didn't watch that game. But I would guess there's a chance that all four of those guys may have been on the court at once. So four of the ten, forty percent of yeah. the potential players for the Bucks and Thunder on court would have been Razorbacks. Then we 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 went back and there was a game where yeah, there was like four before um, Suns, wasn't it? It was, a, it was the Phoenix Suns game, and I'm, I can't Oliver. Remember. I think it was Oliver Miller, Joe Klein, um, yeah. but Todd Day, and I can't remember the other. I think player. they were maybe playing the Bucks. Going to see a yeah. good chunk of Razorbacks in the playoffs too this year. Yeah, and they're going to all, all have impact. It's not just the guys that are having impact during the regular season, but you're, if you make the if it's one thing to make an NBA rotation during the regular season, if you can actually contribute during the playoffs, especially as a young player. Like some of the guys we just mentioned, it's pretty special. And that's all I got for the Pro Hog update. And that is your Lindsay and Associates Pro Hog update. Hey, at Lindsay and Associates, they're celebrating their 50th year in the real estate business. They're the leading real estate company in Northwest Arkansas. And whether you're listing, you're selling, or you're leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all of your real estate needs. They have over 200 professionally trained agents, three convenient locations Fayetteville, Rogers, and Bentonville. Hey, Lindsay and Associates, they're the winning choice. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. Hey, at Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. Before we get to Tom, I want to see how quick you can pick this up, Tommy, what I'm about to play, what, what movie this is from. This is Young Happy Gilmore. Well, it says it right <laughs> on the <laughs> I'm going to go with Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. From the sand. Christopher really wants that jacket. McDonald. Let's just listen to Burn for a second. So Christopher McDonald was on record with uh, talking with Adam Sandler. Apparently, a Happy Gilmore 2 script has been written. McDonald said, I was I saw Adam two weeks ago. McDonald played Shooter McGavin, of course. Said, I saw Adam Sandler two weeks ago, and he says to me, you're going to love this. And this was with an interview with Odyssey's 92.3 The Fan. He says, what? And he says, he showed me the script of Happy Gilmore 2. Mm. Uh, this is a movie I've watched more than 100 times, the first one. Really? I will, uh, yeah, I've, Buddy's House, that was the movie we watched every single time I went over I'm I, I'm not a huge sequel person or a huge, hey, let's make a movie 20, 30 years later that is in likeness to that. Like, I watched the Roadhouse movie this weekend, the Jake Gyllenhaal version. It wasn't close to the Patrick Swayze one at all. But, again, this is a sequel of sorts. Uh, Adam and, and McDonald a little bit older than they used to be in the 90s. I think I'm going to watch this, though. I think I don't know if I'll pay well, for it. How do, you, how do you, I mean, you better do it soon because Vern's not getting any younger and Bob Barker's no longer with us. So mm -hmm. I don't, you know, some of those uh, classic scenes, uh, you better you better get to, to doing pretty quick. And it's coming in Netflix reportedly. So oh. we do have Netflix in my household and I won't have to pay any any other. But I, I think a good chunk of our audience will watch. It won't be anywhere close. I don't think anyone, anything can, can, out top Top Gun Maverick. I thought that was about as good a sequel all these years later that I've ever seen. I'd agree I thought with they that. did a really good job. And I didn't expect Jack Squat with that movie, but they had some good they had Miles Teller and Glenn Powell who supplemented Tom Cruise. I thought they did a really good job with that movie. And I did not have high expectations for that at all. I'd agree. They uh that that that's about as good a, a sequel uh, example uh, is going to get help me. Who's Chubbs Matcherson? Who's that played by again? That's a good text from Hayden and Benefil. Who who's the the character? Oh, we, we just talked about him, guys. He plays Apollo two. Creed. Right, in Rocky. He, he just passed away. That's, that's what is the guy's name? Ed Gummit. Oh yeah, we legitimately a week and a half ago we were talking about him. Uh, Hayden, if you know his name, please call please him at him because he passed away. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, Tom Murphy, in just a second. Hey, if you got missing teeth, dental implant implants. Crooked teeth, need braces, got bro uh, bro broken teeth, crowns. Sharp Smiles can help brighten your smile with all of their dental, with all your dental needs. Sharp Smiles has general dentistry from the routine checkups to teeth cleanings to x-rays, plus a lot more. Sharp Smiles is newly located in Fianna Hills on Market Trace in Fort Smith. Across from Harps, it's Sharp Smiles, modern dentistry and implants. 479-648-9988. 
648-9988 or go to sharpsmilesdd.com. It's the late Carl Weathers. There Thank you, you to multiple textures here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. His name was on the, the tip of my tongue, but yes, unfortunately passed away a few weeks ago. Loved him as Chubbs. Yeah, is it Peterson or Masterson? I'm, it's one of the one of the last names the character you plays. watched it a hundred times you should know yeah it's been i will say as, as many times as i watched it growing up as a kid it has been a couple years since i've seen it lately so maybe i need to go back and watch it I think hopefully I've seen any movie a hundred times you don't think not maybe pieces of shawshank redemption a hundred times on replay that's one of the movies that we've talked about that you flick anytime when it's on television well you tune in anytime that tom murphy joins us on the morning rush which he does so now on the mcclarty daniel hotline uh, Tom, I don't know if you're as excited about Happy Gilmore 2 potentially going into production as I am, but I know you're excited to have spring football back. The guys, uh, this morning, you'll basically leave the interview and, and probably head over to the, the practice facility. Maybe right outside yeah. of it. Wait. You might be. Where are you right now? You're outside the facility? Morning, guys. I'm parked in the lot, ready to ready yeah. to walk in at a moment's notice. Y'all, I wanted to say Carl Weathers, man, because, yeah. of course, <laughs> Carl Weathers, but uh, what was the other question? Uh, oh, Happy Gilmore. I I thought the scene between Bob Barker, the fight scene, yeah, Barker and Adam Sandler is one of the classic scenes of all time, but certainly for sports movies. So uh, they got to come up with something to try to, you know, duplicate that uh, hysteria. All right. So spring football gets back underway today, and we'll hear from Sam Pittman coming up in a couple of days. Uh, what 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 are the storylines heading back into the resumption? Which I I'll tell you, I've never understood why you have a few practices, break for spring break, come back, but that's that's what they have done for years. Yeah, it's to, just to set up uh, when they want the spring game to be and et cetera. So, I mean, I get it. Um, I, I think today you look at, you know, how, how well how well do they look? Are they Do they look rusty? Uh, I, I certainly thought the defense had the better day on the Thursday of the scrimmage, which was a 72-play scrimmage, which was, Man, they came out of it other than Luke, Luke has, which didn't happen in the scrimmage. They came out of it relatively healthy, but still there were some great plays by the offense. So they're going to implement some new defensive schemes. So we'll take a look at what those look at look like and uh, just kind of see um, how, how well they can, you know, see if the snap can be better than the start of the last week and what the run game looks like. I'm not sure if they're – full pads or you know yeah, going to be any tackling today that was my next question uh give me an up because I, I have lost track on where they're at in regards to shoulder pads and helmets versus full pads and when I, i'm sure by saturday when when there's another scrimmage it'll be uh it'll be full tilt boogie right yeah i just i'm not sure it's going to be indoors it looks like it's pretty cold up here today 35 or so it's kind of windy so um you know um i'm sure it's their option uh they they you know, they've obviously been in full pads already a couple of times, so we'll find out um, on that in just a few minutes. Tom Murphy with us here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. Tom, what do you think about the NFL ruling that just came out about the, the hip shoulder, or sorry, the hip tackling? The What are your hip thoughts drop on tackle. Hip drop tackle. i got to get used to saying that. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think they floated it so it would be discussed, because I don't, I'm not sure, but I don't think it's been finalized. Um uh, Based on the reactions from the NFL Players Association and the, and the defensive people, um, they uh, they don't want it to be reality. Um, it just makes it harder. It's another judgment decision that could alter the outcome of a game. Um, yeah, I like the horse collar and those things that came in, but the hip drop, um, sometimes a cornerback trying to get a big tight end like Travis Kelsey down has to kind of put their weight down. And, you know, you don't want any knees and – legs and stuff, but it's just part of the game, and um, I, I hope the, the hip drop tackle does not become outlawed. What do you th- have thought about the NFL offseason thus far? I mean, Dallas Cowboys haven't made, it looks like, any uh, changes within their, their franchise, and I know a lot of people are mad at Jerry. What, what has been the NFL storyline to you thus far this offseason? Um, you know, obviously the movement of Kirk Cousins was big for us. And um, there's been others. My my friends who are Cowboys fans are a little bit frustrated, but the Cowboy Cowboys franchise has been pretty solid. I mean, th- when their run game of what two or three years ago, I guess they still had Zeke and then Pollard, but you know they had that massive year. It's just a, a matter of what you do, and their defense is great. Uh, what what kind of mojo you have when you get to the playoffs and in this particular year the Packers had more mojo than they did 
And, um, you know, I, I don't see them – I don't know what they'll do, but um, you don't have to make a lot of changes on defense right now. Yeah. Tom Murphy with us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Tom, uh, baseball is going to be front and center uh, this week, and we got Arkansas uh, playing Little Rock tonight, that game, or actually this afternoon they moved the game up. But um, the LSU series that begins on Thursday, I think, is going to be the focus of uh, not just uh, our fans, but college baseball fans around the country. Uh, what are you anticipating this week? LSU's kind of backed in a corner. Uh, Chuck and uh, and us, were, uh, we were talking about this yesterday. This is when teams like LSU are at their – most dangerous is uh, when they've got to win to keep on pace in this league. No doubt. Um, boy, if the Razorbacks had held on um, in the Saturday game against Auburn, that 5-1 to one lead, which could have grown, they'd be 6-0. and oh. They'd be three games clear of the rest of the SEC West, which is really hard to picture. I agree. I think LSU is going to be dangerous. Um, as, long, as long as you have these three starters, you know, you're going to put yourself in all the games. Um, I did mention last Thursday that, you know, the pitch counts for Tiger and Molina, you know, the way they hit batters and walk batters, sometimes you worry one team can get a launch a ball and, and do some damage on you. So what happened in the Saturday game, Molina got out of that big jam, I think, in the fourth inning, but his pitch count had gotten up. And, and so they had to go to the bullpen in the sixth, and it kind of fell apart on them, just a couple of, you know, the – the solo home run, the bunt, the bunt single where Dossett fell down, and then it just kind of piled up on them. And so that's what you've got to worry about if you're Arkansas is over um, is your is Molina and Tiger throwing too many pitches and having to go many too many innings with your bullpen. So um, you know you want to see a little bit more hitting than Arkansas got in in the opener last week in the one to nothing game, but they're at home. Um, yeah, there's going to be a whole lot of attention placed on this defending champion against the top team in the SEC right now. Yeah, and you, you look at – I was talking yesterday about LSU schedule. You know, you you look at where they started with Mississippi State, uh, Florida, Arkansas, Vanderbilt, Tennessee, all in a row. That is a brutal first five weeks that LSU faces. Really, really is. And, um, you know, they're still start trying to sort some things out. They've had a couple of runs where they're you – know, a couple of games where their pitching staff has really let them down. Uh, there's been some games where their hitting's a little bit head scratching, but um, you know that they're going to be competitive. Um, they're going to get through these five weeks and still have a chance in the second half of the conference season. And um, they're they're just a dangerous team. And you know the the, the name on the the jersey LSU always carries a, a substantial amount of weight with as many championships as they've won. We saw Will McIntyre, Tom, be put in a closing situation. I know that Gackle, I think he has five saves on the year, had a chance to close, or not say close another, right? played a little bit more this weekend. But do you think when push comes to shove for a regional or a super or maybe a chance to, to do something in Omaha that Dave kind of might switch up the rotation, put Mac in that closing role rather than just out of the bullpen? Well, he very well could. And the thing – with this staff is you, you can mix and match as you need. And mm -hmm. their goal, I think every weekend is to, to try to get McIntyre two appearances. And so if that's the last two innings on, on a Friday game uh, or in Thursday in this case, and then another inning or so in the, the final game, then that's what they'd like to do. Uh, the way he has pitched, uh, you heard a comparison of the Kevin Copps type wipeout slider pitch. Um, it, he's, he's been very dominant so far. And, yes, Gackle's got five saves, but I, I think they would fully trust McIntyre to close games out, uh, whatever they need. See, I, I, we were talking about the game tonight and they're playing Little Rock and kind of how it, it fits into this weekend. And I made the point earlier, and I, I want to see if you agree, there's still so much inter-squad competition for innings, for at-bats, for playing time, to be a pinch runner, whatever it is. Uh, you, you can look at probably six or seven of the spots in the field still up for grabs on the day-to-day -day basis. I think there's a lot of competition that makes games like tonight interesting because guys want to make their case to Dave Van Horn why they should get more time in the rotation. Absolutely true. I'm, I don't know if seven spots are open, but I, I get your point. Um, you know, Will Edmondson had a couple of good games in Auburn. Um, can Jason Jones assert himself back in the lineup? He might get a shot tonight. Um, the catcher position. It kind of changes, um, and then there's been games. You know, 
a backup catcher, Helfrick, wins, you know, game two at Auburn. And, and then Hudson White came around. He, he had more hits last weekend. So you want to keep him going. Um, they, they can all make all kind of moves, you know, defensive moves, pinch hitter moves with their catchers, which is really neat. And I think you're right. Dave even mentioned it on Saturday that there's so many arms that didn't get used that, you know, like Flaherty and there's some others that they want to see probably pitch tonight so uh, to make decisions on whether they're included on the weekend roster. Tom, good stuff. We'll catch up Thursday and uh, really preview the Arkansas LSU series that will begin that evening. Sounds good. See y'all. All right, Tom Murphy with us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline Baseball is front and center this week uh, with spring practice getting back underway uh, here in just a matter of minutes uh, in Fayetteville. Hey, springtime's here, and at make a Wake Bait and Tackle, they're getting you ready for springtime fishing. They're at a new location. Uh, they're right next door to Wits Marine, same building, 803 North 11th Street. make a Wake is ready to spring you into spring by stocking up on covert spinning baits. Uh, they've got jackhammer chatter baits, Bobby Garland baby shad, plus the Todd Huckabee rods that's uh, going to make for a great trip anytime. Uh, they also are carrying whisker seeker rods and reels. So anything you need for fishing, they're going to have at make a wake bait and tackle 803 North 11th street in Fort Smith, right next door to Wits Marine. See them for all your rod and reel repairs that you need as well. 479-926-9320 is their number. 926-9320 or again, check them out at their brand new location next door to Wits Marine at 803 North 11th street in Fort Smith. Earlier in the program, we discussed the Shohei Otani story. I want to come back to that, what he had to say in regards to what's gone on in the last couple of weeks. And then also, uh, NIL is always on the forefront of the discussion. Some notable news when it comes to March Madness players and how much money that they're making. Yeah. Hey, if you haven't filled out your Sweet 16 bracket at hitthatline.com, be sure and do that now. Go to hitthatline.com. And uh, if your bracket is busted or you didn't get one in, go to hitthatline.com and Enter our bracket challenge. You can win great prizes. Brought to you by On the Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith, and Shelter Insurance Agent Chris Dooley. Present our bracket challenge. It's real easy. Go to hitthatline.com, click on Bracket Challenge, and get signed up before the games begin on Thursday. All right, we'll get into all that coming up. Again, if you've got a take, you can jump in here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. We'll talk more baseball again. you got a game tonight that's been moved up. Time change till 3 o'clock. We'll have it right for you here on most of these ESPN Arkansas stations. Arkansas's home for the best sports talk. I made a pizza with pork rinds and sour cream. You're listening to The Morning Rush. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Newt's. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Blackstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available, plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Hello there, homeowner. Roger Scott for Leap Guard Gutters of Arkansas. Are you tired of dealing with clogged gutters, climbing ladders, and worrying about potential damage to your home? Well, listen up to me now. Leap Guard of Arkansas has got you covered. Introducing Leap Guard, the only true one-piece seamless covered gutter system on the market guaranteed to never, ever clog. With Leap Guard, you can kiss goodbye to all the hassle of climbing up and cleaning out all that muck and mud and shingle grit. No more hiring someone else to do it, or worse yet, risking serious damage and issues by doing nothing at all. Spring is finally here, which means it's time for Leap Guard's famous ugly gutter event. Leap Guard will swoop in, take down and haul away all those unsightly gutters at absolutely no charge, and you'll receive an incredible 60% off installation on a whole house Leaf Guard gutter system. But wait, there's more. Ask about the 0% financing options and additional discounts for seniors and military personnel. Do not let ugly gutters ruin your home's curb appeal or cause costly damage. Call 501 664 5400 or visit leafguardandmore.com to schedule your free estimate today. Leaf Guard of Arkansas, protecting your home one seamless gutter at a time. This is the Morning Rush. Hi- Arkansas! 0.9% financing on a new 23 or 24 GMC Sierra at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Save up to $6,500 off with factory rebates on a new GMC Sierra truck or take $3,750 off with 0.9% financing or 2.9% financing for up to 72 months on Sierra 1500. 6.2 liter engine excluded. Conquer with confidence in a new GMC Sierra from Harry Robinson Buick GMC. We are professional grade. Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? 
Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. With over 8,000 square feet of all the latest trends in lighting and plumbing fixtures, Great House Fixtures has all the brands you know and love, such as Visual Comfort Lighting and Delta Faucets. Their experienced staff can help you design and select the perfect fixtures for your uniquely you home, including sinks, tubs, faucets, custom showers, indoor and outdoor lighting, chandeliers, mirrors, hardware, and more. Make your house a great house. Learn more at greathousefixtures.com, located on Zero Street in Fort Smith. Great House Fixtures by J&B Supply. Let the madness begin at 810 Billiards and Bowling. Make sure to join them for all your favorite games and enjoy specials like the game winner, your choice of pizza, 20 wings, and a pitcher of domestic beer for only $40. Or the three-pointer, your choice of pizza, 10 wings, and a pitcher of domestic beer for only $30. Or $10 buckets of beer. Join the mayhem at 810 Billiards and Bowling, 56 609 Rogers Avenue, Fort Smith. Come for the food, but stay for the fun. If you knew all that Jody's Auto Service Centers can do for your vehicle and you, you'd never take your vehicle anywhere else. My fleet is small, 14 trucks and cars. It's a struggle every day with parts, employees, and scheduling. But one thing I never worry about is vehicles. Jody's has special fleet pricing, special in and out service, or free shuttle and pickup and delivery service. And they do everything, service, repair, and maintenance. That makes my life much easier. All my vehicles go to Jody's. Latest technology and highly trained technicians means we could do it all. From the most highly technical repairs to everyday oil change specials, Tires, everything, even diesels. Jody'sAuto.com schedule free shuttle service or pickup and delivery. Get a tire quote, get financing. Jody's Auto Service Centers voted best of the best by our customers year after year. We're your neighbors since 1984 with three full service locations in Fort Smith and Van Buren. See for yourself at jodysauto.com. I am a waitress, so I know the difference between regular shoes and Skechers slip-resistant work shoes. Skechers slip-resistant work shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Primavera. Thanks. While regular shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Prima. Whoa, whoa. And that difference is why I wear Skechers slip-resistant work shoes to keep me safe on my feet. Plus, they're easy to clean and have Skechers exclusive air-cooled memory foam for comfort throughout my shift. Get America's number one selling work shoe at Skechers.com, a Skechers store near you, or wherever work shoes are sold. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Chuck is a living legend in this state. And anytime I get to talk to Chuck, it's a privilege and an honor to speak to you. And as long as you, Ty, you know you're a little wet behind the ear. The pitch. He struck him out swinging on a breaking ball and 10 more strikeouts for Hagen Smith. Do you enjoy watching Arkansas press conferences? Find all of them on our YouTube channel. You can hear from Sam Pittman, Eric Musselman, Dave Van Horn, and Razorback players. Just search Hit That Line and click subscribe. I know our own Phil Elson's excited to be back calling baseball. 3 o'clock today, 2.30, you'll hear at most of these ESPN Arkansas radio stations. Not just today, but this weekend is you welcome in the LSU Tigers. As we welcome in our friend Larry Rath of Rath Auto Resources here this morning. Larry, tail into March, man. Still madness going on at both Springdale and Fort Smith, I guess, though. You know, you're exactly right. We've got uh, still got some ground to make up at the big month. But we need it to be a big month in March, and it's just a terrific time to buy a pre-owned vehicle, particularly. And we've got a great selection of cars and trucks and SUVs, all the most popular makes and models. We're all stocked up. We've got these cars live market price, so you can't pay too much for them. We've got this road-ready certification on them with warranty, so you can't make a mistake there. 
really the best used cars you're going to find anywhere. They're only available at Rath Auto Resources in Fort Smith or Rath Mitsubishi in Springdale. We've also got the new Mitsubishi lineup with 0% for up to 72 months, rebates as high as $1,500. We can really save you some money on one of these new uh, Mitsubishi products. And, you know, they're a little a little less expensive to start with. So you hear everybody's got some specials, some good interest, all that sort of thing is going on right now. But when you shop our cars against a, a facing competitor, you always see a two, three thousand dollar price advantage there. And I think that matters to a lot of people. It's a value brand with a ten year one hundred thousand mile warranty and you can't beat that. So we hope you'll come see us for a new Mitsubishi or a premium pre-owned car or road-ready certified car at Rath Auto Resources in Fort Smith or Rath Mitsubishi in Springdale, or check us out online, rathauto.com. All right, that's Rath Auto Resources, Fort Smith, and in Springdale. Larry, good to hear from you, and we'll talk to you uh, later on this week. All right, you guys have a good day. Folks, come see us. It's really hard to keep up with this Shohei Otani story because I feel like it keeps taking twists and turns. The latest is the press conference. It really wasn't a press conference. I consider a press conference Q&A. This was a statement that was made from Shohei about 11 minutes long. Here was his interpreter discussing what happened in regards to this whole gambling situation. Take a listen. He, he admitted that he was sending money using my account to the bookmaker. And at that moment, obviously, I was, it was an absurd thing that was happening, and I've contacted my representatives at that point. When I was finally able to talk to my representatives, that's when my representatives found out that Ipe has been lying the whole time, and that's when I started contacting the Dodgers and my lawyers. And the Dodgers and the lawyers at that moment found out also as well that they have been lied to. And he also admitted that he doesn't, gamble on sports and and hasn't done that i i i am not i I don't know what to believe that's what i was gonna say i don't know i keep i keep hearing that stuff and i've seen people say well pete rose needed an interpreter to 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 to, to put it on someone else and say that it wasn't him gambler pete rose could have had a fall guy in this situation i say here's the thing because of the language barrier because of the intermediary do you give more grace or maybe more understanding if you're baseball? Or do you, you know, and Otani's as big a star as you've got. That factors in. Pete Rose was a big star. You've got a situation going on in basketball with a also-ran player that people haven't heard of in Toronto. They'll probably drop the hammer on him and make an example out of him. But what did we think was going to happen when we legalized gambling in 30-plus states, which I don't have a problem with? Did we think these kind of situations weren't going to come up? Surely none of us are naive to think that we're not going to have stories like this continue to pop up where there's opportunity for those to double their money in a short amount of time. And they feel like they have insight. I'm not even talking about rigging games. I'm not talking about shaving points. I'm just talking about people with insight and knowledge and special access to information that want to turn a buck on that. I'm not even suggesting that the games had been altered based on participant involvement. But we all see this coming. I mean, none of us would be surprised by Mm -hmm. these stories or these headlines. And you used a phrase earlier. It's a phrase that my dad has used, the up and up. We want to be able to watch sports on the up and up or have an advantage, as you stated earlier, to if we're going to win some money through that. I say that tongue-in-cheek, but yeah, this is— We want to know what we're watching is, you know— has integrity and it's real, mm-hmm. you know, because that's the whole point of sports is say the refs not rigging the game that this player's given one hundred and ten percent. This coach doesn't have any prop bets that he's want to hit. I, I get when players want to hit a triple double or they want to uh, ha- have a certain statistical achievement, but not with gambling. That again is a an area, and you mentioned Pete Rose a little bit earlier. I don't, I, I don't want to un, unpack that conversation because I know we could spend like days upon days talking about Pete Rose, but that is where a lot of people yeah. kind of went to on this. But I don't know what to believe with Otani. And with the language barrier, the interpreter, you know, clearly there was way too much trust put with this guy. And then the whole financial situation with his contract and the lack of clarity there just makes all of this, uh, you know, something I really don't understand. 
I, I don't understand all of the attractions sometimes with April the 8th and the solar eclipse, but we know more people are coming to Arkansas than probably have ever been in our state at one time. And if you're hosting an eclipse party, you need our people at the party place in Conway and in Fort Smith to help get you ready. They have the eclipse glasses and everything else you need to make sure that your party and your event, whether it's for the eclipse or for Easter weekend or any other gathering is, uh, is going to go off without a hitch. You know, it's going to be the only eclipse now. And then the next one in Arkansas is like 2045. So whether it's Cinco de Mayo, whether it's a graduation party, whether it's Christmas or a holiday or the solar eclipse coming up, be sure and stop in and see our friends at the party place for everything you need. They're in Conway on Oak Street. They're in Fort Smith at 7810 Rogers Avenue behind Ashley Furniture. It's the party place in Fort Smith and in Conway. SEC update when we return. Arkansas's home for the best sports talk. This is former Arkansas football. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned. Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas. More than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. It's a dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakale. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite white perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. The tournament is here. Bet Online is your bracket headquarters for this season with the best bracket contests out there and odds, lines, and info on every game and every round right up to the national championship. You can access the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile device and even track your bracket real-time all the way through the tournament. Head to Bet Online today and get in on all the action. Remember to use the promo code BELIEVE for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. The game starts here. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones. All he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson. The best in the business on the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Are you in need of a good power washing? Mike Jenner's Mo Wash is a full-service press washing corporation with over 15 years of experience in the River Valley in Northwest Arkansas. Cleaning services include exterior home, fence, driveways, walkways, gutters, pool deck cleansing, and more. We remove dirt, grime, and more to give you that sparkle you desire. Call me at 479-763-5561. We're open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mike Jenner's Mo Wash, one call, cleans it all. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. 
God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world. And when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Abe from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. The Dandy White Perch. Update on the Morning Rush. Brought to you by Burton Pools and Spas. Trusted pool experts and your source for backyard fun. Locations in Fort Smith, Springdale, and always online at burtonpools.com. Congratulations to Hagen Smith, who is SEC Pitcher of the Week. Six scoreless innings, 12 strikeouts, his fourth double digit strikeout game of the season. 4 0 on the year. Tied Scott Tabor last week and is surpassing probably in the first innings in career strikeouts this Thursday, which I know Scott is, is going to be happy to talk about Friday. This season, he has a stat line of 1.24 ERA, 62 strikeouts over 29 innings, and batters are just hitting 116 against him on the year. Well, and, uh, you know, it's becoming a better and better conversation about, you know, and his career's not over, so you can't put him in there yet, but, you know, Best pitchers of all time at Arkansas. We're talking about career strikeouts and some of that, but man, you're you're, you're developing a pretty good list of uh, of great collegiate pitchers, and some have went on to to really good pro careers as well. Hoping Hagen has that. Uh, in, in I mean, front just of in the last four or five years, you can mm-hmm. you can name four or five good names. Uh, Vanderbilt all timers. Vanderbilt has filled their college basketball head coaching position with uh, former James Madison coach uh, Mark Byington. I think that's been finalized. This all was reported by multiple outlets. I think that's been set in stone. So that's one job that's been filled. We mentioned Michigan filled their head coaching vacancy with Dusty May. Uh, still some other positions that need to be filled, including Louisville. Hadn't seen any news on that. Still waiting on who is hired as the Louisville basketball coach and staying in Kentucky uh, John Calipari no news on him just yet I think he's supposed to meet with uh, Kentucky Athletics Director Mitch Barnhart today here is what Cal said in regards to his employment in Lexington take a listen you know I talked again about the standard that is a standard that I believe in that I think we can do but that standard of national titles has been here from Coach Rupp on And the only thing that I'm saying to all our fans, you know, I'm going to work, work in our state, work for this program and this university, really work for these young people. We were just talking about betting earlier. If you had to bet one way or another, free money, are you going to bet that Cal's going to return this program to prominence under his watch and they're going to go back to being as successful as they used to be, Final Fours, Elite Eights, and whatnot? Or do you think this is the beginning? Maybe not right now, but this is the beginning no, of the I, end. I mean, he may win some games in the tournament, but I don't think there's going to be like a Nick Saban run that's coming. You don't think uh, a, a, a Final Four and National Championship is on the horizon for Cal anytime I, soon? No, I mean, I mean, not, you know, uh, but that's not, Kentucky expects you to be in the Final Four 
three out of five and win a national title one out of five. That's kind of, I think, the standard up there, Something, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, not even close to sniffing that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know that it's over now. I don't know that he's going to be fired this week. Don't expect that. But I do expect, uh, I don't expect also at the same time that, hey, a meeting with the AD is going to really spark him and then get his attention and, and, a, and a call to, to action. <laughs> a sense of urgency will be created all of a sudden that results in these Final Four. I think the, the, they, they've missed their window, and now the, the playing field has leveled with NIL and the transfer portal. And just like at Alabama, it's going to become more difficult in football. It's, it's already become more difficult uh, in basketball, and the, and the gap is narrowed. So you mentioned the transfer portal in our SEC update here. Do you think there should be interconference transfers? Like, there's non-competes in the workforce is that are enforceable in some states, not so enforceable in others. But is that something you could see going into effect that would cause? Um, nope. You know, you nope. think it's not 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 under the current uh, rules of engagement. I mean, there's probably not going to be a court that would uphold that. So no, yeah. until there until there is some kind of players' association. Um, uh, that's another word, you know, for union that you can have collective bargaining. Those kind of, of boundaries aren't going to, I, the, the courts have been Just struck it. You one, struck one, down. I mean, one sided mm-hmm. in all their decisions. So nothing makes me believe that, you know, schools are going to try to enforce some kind of stricter rule to a great degree, uh, fearing what, what the court's decisions will be, Cause, you know. There's been egg on the face of the NCAA every time a, a judge or a, a jury is issued, really mainly judges. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't expect them to do anything like that. Uh, Maybe that, they should, but I don't think they will. That's your SEC update here on a bandwagon Tuesday. And it's brought to you by Burton Pools and Spas, where you can discover your dream pool and dive into Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale. They have a massive, you've driven by there on I-49. Uh, you, you've seen that outdoor showroom with, one of the largest displays in the country of outdoor pools, different styles, different kinds that you can browse through and look and let their staff uh, c- explain all of the different styles and what may fit in your backyard, maybe fit in the landscape or the topography of your backyard. If you've got a slope or if you've got a flat backyard, what might work best, Burton's has 10 stunning in-ground pools and uh, eight distinct fiberglass pools that you can look at. Uh, right now, discounts up to $12,000, so you can visualize your backyard oasis. And when they built my backyard pool, they came out, took pictures with a special camera, they came back with a computer-generated design and uh, showed it all the way down to the landscaping of what my backyard would look like, and I could really get a feel for what they were going to do. So they don't just build pools and, and make backyards of your dream at Burton Pools and Spas. They build long-term relationships. Stop in and see them in Springdale and in Fort Smith or call them at their Springdale showroom, Four seven nine seven five six fifty five eleven at seven five six fifty five eleven for Burton Pools and Spas. A couple of recruiting tidbits for you in both football and basketball. Basketball, according to Richard Davenport, is hosting UMass transfer Joshua Cohen this morning for his official visit in Fayetteville. Got a couple other places it sounds like he's going to look to. And then on the football side, it's not good news. You lost Carries Kern, the number one player in your state offensive and defensive lineman out of Marion. And then you also lost St. Louis four-star running back to Marion Parker yesterday. So Sam Pittman, the guys get ready. I guess to get ready, they're in practice right now. Uh, they had some unpleasant news leading up to this week in the scrimmage on Saturday. Well, and, you know, there's news on – with the women's basketball team and uh, Wolfenberger going to LSU, there's there's Ooh. more movement there. So, um, you know, we've had a few ask about the, the the future of the women's program. I don't know, but I, I know they're they're going to have a major roster overhaul as well. And they've had a lot of four and five star talent. And it just hasn't resulted in near the number of wins or the depth in the tournament or even in the mm-hmm. tournament you would have uh, resulted. I think uh, that Tulsa loss was uh, was a new all time low for. For that program under Mike Neighbors. And Jersey Wolfenbarger, Fort Smith, young lady who mm-hmm. people were ecstatic to get to Fayetteville, not playing Huge for the Hawks. Everybody in the country wanted Yeah, her. UConn offers all over the place. And now I know that LSU is your biggest rival in, in football and, and, and baseball, but uh, women's basketball with Kim Mulkey is built in Baton Rouge is impressive. The defending national champion, the team that you want to see go up against Iowa in the women's basketball tournament, and it yeah, it really does hurt that 
she's going there uh, for a lot of Arkansas fans, specifically those in Fort Smith. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it's something to certainly, uh, uh, I, I think, a program to keep an eye on. I don't know if there's going to be change or what's going to happen. And I, and I want to say this, and I was thinking about this this morning. Um, during and Y'all know I didn't participate in athletics in college. Uh, couldn't because I wasn't gifted or uh, had any work <laughs> ethic on that side of things uh, from outside of academics. But I was thinking about, because I only applied to one school, the University of Arkansas, the only school I applied to. My dad was like, you need to apply elsewhere. I was like, I'm not going anywhere else. I'm going to Arkansas. There was a stint where I thought I was going to Baylor ninth grade, 50 grand a year, not paying that. And I realized... Well, earn a scholarship. That, yeah, well, his ACT <laughs> score wasn't high enough. 23, I know that's surprising. 23 mm -hmm. does not get you much scholarship initially. You had to earn it you when you were took it school. one more time, then you had a 30-something. Yeah, it would have yeah. helped. Yeah. But you don't get to add them together? No, I no. wish you did. What I realized, though, is that if I would have gotten full scholarship or way more money somewhere else out of state, I probably would have gone out of state. And I'm tying that and I'm, I'm equating that and tying that back into the young men and women that are deciding to go elsewhere in this state because I really don't blame them that much. I, I don't know the difference in NIL money that maybe Jersey was getting here in Fayetteville versus what she was getting or what she's going to get in Baton Rouge or if Carius goes I, somewhere else. And I, You think any of that with this women's program has to do with money? I, uh, but and, and that maybe we, we shifted to, to football gears where okay. it seems like the football is more of where you have some, some deficit on the NL front out of high school. It seems like you're competitive more in the portal, but out of high school you have some deficit. I don't blame those kids. And I listen, I was fortunate. I was going to college regardless if I was getting a full ride or not. I was getting considerable. I really don't like. I, you get where I'm coming from. Like, if I would have been offered way more money to go to college elsewhere, I wouldn't have gone to Fayetteville. I would have gone out of state. And I think it's taken me a while to kind of understand that. It's like I don't really blame these kids for going elsewhere, especially for some that have never seen that amount of money in their entire life at all. Yeah. So uh, people want to bash these kids for deciding, well, you know, it's it, it's better off. And for some, it's better off to go somewhere else. For well, some, well, it's better hey, off hey, to stay put. Let me ask you, are you a more well-rounded person because you moved to Nashville following college? Oh, yeah. Me and Chuck and, had a heated debate about right, like, this last right. week. And, I think and, Devo's better off going elsewhere now. Well, and, out of state. But I, I think as young people, some, and I didn't do this because I, I was too scared to take the risk at that point in my life. And I didn't know, you know, because I had things here and I had, had roots here. But moving off and trying to figure out how to do it on your own, you will benefit from that down the line, yeah. and you don't realize that at 17, 18, I, 19 years old. I became... And I never did it and wish and regret it now. Well, you also had a young daughter that you couldn't well, really do it in that situation. Well, but not at 18, I did. Yeah, I, I was in a situation where I didn't have anything that was tying me back to Arkansas, and I... I know that it's hard to believe that I became yeah. a man during that period, but in that year, I probably learned more about myself mm -hmm. than any of the 28 other you years had, in the your state. Your safety net had, yeah. had shrunk, There's and you no had longer, to do it on your own. Yeah, was, I think it's a good thing. So, again, you can have your opinions about young men and young ladies in the state that go elsewhere. That's just kind of where I've come yeah. to the realization, too, because I can't really fault them because I would have done the exact same thing. Dude, I was on uh, vacation, as you know, last week. I was out in Arizona, in Sedona area. Saw a lot of people biking. They had a lot of places you could rent bikes. And if uh, if biking is in your future uh, or something, that a hobby you'd like to take up, let me tell you about our friends at Champion Cycling. They can help you find the joy in cycling. It's more than just great exercise. Whether you're a kid getting your first bike or an adult who's uh, been biking for years and you're looking maybe to do better in your next race and maybe get on the podium champion cycling wants to help you find the right bike with a great selection of bikes cycling apparel and accessories and great service so if cycling something you want to do as a hobby or maybe a hobby you want to take up see our friends at champion cycling 5500 mazard road in fort smith and find your next ride with champion cycling we got a lot of great outdoor riding and trails here in our state but i'll tell you out there in sedona there was uh there's a lot of biking going on and uh, out there the roads were the roadways were, were really set up for, it, but a lot of off-road trails. It's a dry heat there. It's a little less humidity. Well, I mean, that's up the mountains. I mean, yeah. uh, so I mean, there was there was still snow on the ground as we were driving. Was in. it really? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's show here on a Bandwagon Tuesday. If you missed any of our Lindsay and Associates Pro Hog update or conversation with Tom Murphy or Bruce Tin or any of Tommy, myself, and Big C, you can find it in our Bud Light Morning Rush podcast. Always on the Hit That Line Now app. We'll be back tomorrow, six a.m. For What's Your Beef Wednesday? Talk